What is up, my friends? My name's Aaron Ciotti. Everybody just calls me Ciotti. You can call me whatever the hell you want. The destroyer of all. That's what you can call me. The cat has come in. Let me see if I can grab him. He hasn't been on here in a while. Hey, buddy. I'm not doing anything. I'm just rolling backwards. Has nothing to do with you. All right, see you later. Worth a shot. <laughs> Uh, tonight, what are we gonna do? We're gonna fix the tiny trainer because, you know, I flew it, so of course, it's broken. Um, we're also going to get these, uh, this stack of cameras going. There's a run cam box 5, uh, Caddx Dolphin, Caddx Orca, and, uh, I've got story time on these two broken. Go processions. Uh, story time about Square Trade's warranty, uh, the fifteen dollar warranty. What you really need to know about it, uh, and what I learned today, and what I've learned over the last three months dealing with Square Trade. Uh, so yeah, we got some ground to cover. But first, Mongo FPV, Big Willy FPV, Nathaniel Labouf, Rob, Tweet FPV, Ben Watkins, Private Island FPV, Stephen Rossi, Ken Hill, Remy Tim, Boom, Brett Vogelslang. His name is Boom. I'm just not saying. I'm not just saying Boom. I don't just say Boom. That's that's not. It's kind of dad jokey. You know what I mean? Tiago Ramos, Space Truck and FPV. I thought it said Spectorium. Because I've lost my mind. Cory Man Zero, Solo FPV, Solo FPV coming through with the package today. Sending me some cool stuff. We'll look at it in a little bit here. Um, Meatwad Fairy, CGK FPV, Market Zero, RC Mark Masker, KD, KD, ah, KD2RDH Larry, Parklander, Rob Axelson, Parklander again, KD2RDH Larry. <laughs> Brutal FPV, Ranflin, Diaz, how are you, Ranflin? Cement Kid, Big Willie, Ben Watkins, uh, John Coopy, Tanner, Space Truckin' again. That's, that's, Space Truckin's, he's in the lead for, thus far. Solo again, Cement Kid, Meatwad Fairy, uh, alright. Cage Drummer is here, Night Train FPV, Crunked, Aphix FPV, John Coopy again, Techno FPV, I'm hoping I didn't miss anybody, but I think I did, Ezekiel 1974, Brent Vogelslang again, Euro FPV, Cement Kid, and John Coopy again. What's up, everybody? Ooh, alright. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Daniel says, yeah, you don't make any dad jokes. I made the, I added the face. He didn't, he didn't say that face. Uh, Larry said, what's up with the links in Joshua Bardwell's stream? When I click on it, it wants me to report you. <laughs> I don't know, that's weird, Larry. Um, but you can report me in there if, if it really wants you to, that's alright. Uh, ben Watkins says, damn, how's it broken already? Well, because I flew it, of course. Jesus. Yeah, haven't you Haven't you met me? <laughs> uh, Krunk says, is that your tower of junk cameras? No, this is the tower of, uh, of cameras that Kebab sent me with a big box of random stuff. And um, these three actually fit in GoPro session mounts, so uh, yeah. I'll, what's interesting is apparently there was a, there was like a big budget um, within GoPro on the sessions, uh, a big budget spent on making the sessions extremely durable, like a lot a lot of money, um, and like, and I got into like one little crash with the Runcam Five, and like I can already tell that there was absolutely no budget spent on <laughs> making this thing strong, like the top of the case is completely cracked from back to front from like a nothing little crash and then just looking at these two Caddx ones like these things are just going to implode the first thing they hit um so but i mean why wouldn't i do that right like that's going to be hysterical uh tiago Ramo says oh my god the canopy of the tiny trainer is siati proof <laughs> we'll talk about that in a little bit <laughs> big willie says i just sent my session five into amazon ashurion today uh, i'm i think Amazon Asurion is good. I hope it's good. Um, because that's where I'm going to get my next Session 5 from. Uh, so, let me know what your experience is, Big Willie, because uh, I, I think I'll wait to hear back from you, actually, before I get another one. Because I do have, I currently have one working session. So, um, 
Uh, Daniel said, yeah, 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 don't make any dad jokes. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. Uh, Tweet FPV, hey man, got the radio grips today, they look so good, gotta paint my Tango too before applying the Ciati FPV purple grips. Ah, nice. What, uh, what color are you gonna do, uh, Daniel? Athix FPV says that I'm the destroyer of quads. It's true. And worlds, you know, a little bit. Rob Oxenson says, Ciati proof equals impossible. Yeah, that, um, Kebab used to joke with, uh, joke about that with me all the time when during the prototyping of the uh of the glide frame um i, I was just like the crash test dummy basically <laughs> you would just send it to me and then i would be the one to break all the arms and send him pictures of all the breaks and then he would like thicken up different parts of it it's uh purple and orange there we go nice uh mark kunoff got his gopro answer what was the gopro question uh, Mike Bergman says, is it possible to control Runcam Phoenix 2 from the bench without being wired to a flight controller, you know? I don't think so. I think that GoPro has complete... Which, uh, did you say Phoenix 2 Nano? Runcam Phoenix 2. Oh, I have the Nano here. No, it looks like, okay, well, I'm guessing that you don't have the Nano. Because if you had the Nano, you would see that it says menu and ground and it has the little cable. Um, I'm assuming you have the regular one, and yeah, there's a, uh, I just had a, there's a run cam here, yeah, this one, this, uh, this is the Micro Swift 3, but it's the M12 version, uh, this is like that, you can't, you have to wire it to a flight controller, um, which is insane, that, that's, that's, I don't love that, um, but... I guess I'll wire up camera control at some point and go, oh, well, this isn't really a big deal. And then <laughs> I'll change my mind. But for you trying to do it on the bench, that's a pain in the ass. Um, um, you know, though, I might have a... Um, I've probably got a flight controller that you can power from USB on your bench, like a broken flight controller, but that'll do what you're looking for it to do. So, hang on, hang on. All right, that is... Okay, I have eight, flight con eight broken flight controllers in my hand. Uh, I will plug these in if, if you need me to, me message me on uh, CIDFPV on Facebook or Instagram if, if you want to do this. But I'll, uh, if you want me to, I'll plug these in. I, I'm certain that one of them powers from USB, and I'll mail it to you. So let me know. Uh, Tiago says, doesn't the run cam have the short trick to change modes? I think so, but then you can't change the, the brightness and the contrast and all that shit. Um, and it's like, I guess once you've wired it up, to camera control, why would you unwire it from camera control? I don't know. I wish they hadn't done that. The the, the, the remotes are not a big deal. Um, yeah, they're kind of a pain in the ass, but so is camera control, I think. I don't know. I still haven't wired it up. It's only one wire, right? Because it's already got ground going to it. You probably have to run a separate ground. I don't know, man. More wires? Come on. Come on. More wires? Two more wires? Come on. No. Two more? Come on. All right. Um, thanks for coming, everybody. CIDFPV on YouTube, Patreon, Instagram, Facebook. Send me messages, uh, well wishes, whatever you'd like. Uh, what else? At tag and chat. If you want to talk to me, you've seen people doing it. You type at CIDFPV. That highlights your comment in orange, and I know that it's directed at me. Otherwise, I'm going to assume you guys are talking to each other in chat. Uh, we have an awesome little community of folks here who are very knowledgeable, so when these guys are helping you out, trust them. Um, if you still want my opinion, totally cool. Tag me. Great. Uh, I want to talk about your questions, but yeah, really, really good community of folks. We call ourselves The Collective because much like the Borg, we are hive-minding shit all day, every day. Um, the everyday thing is going to change soon here, um, but... I will still stream Sundays and Mondays um, for as long as Joshua is willing to, to give me a shout out at the end, really. Um, and I'll, I'll try to sprinkle in a, a, a rando stream uh, during the week. 
So, uh, let me hit the top of the chat and get caught up. Wait, no, not the top. I covered a bunch of these already, right? Yeah, 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 look at me, look at me, look at me. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Mark Kunoff. Got his GoPro answer. Mark, what was the Go -Go GoPro question? I'm having deja vu. Um, Steven Rossi is the next question I need to get to. I'm not sure why everyone just doesn't hop on the GoPro Plus stream. Five bucks a month, deductibles are reasonable, and unlimited original original quality cloud storage. Steven Rossi, um, I actually have a, um, I have a post over on the Patreon page talking about the, uh, the GoPro, uh, what's it called? Plus. Uh, thing. I, I just posted, like, this, the, the deal, like, you know, the, the specs on that, uh, thing, five bucks a month, whatever. Uh, the big problem with it is you only get one replacement. So, you spend... Shit, I used to know what the go the session fives cost over there. Let's just say it's a hundred bucks. Um, you spend a hundred bucks, and then they replace it once, and then you're done. What I what I didn't find out. So at the time, I thought that the eBay Square Trade warranty um, was an accident warranty because that's how they have it worded, um, but it's not. Uh, so now at this point, that GoPro. Um, Plus might be the best option, um, or it might be Amazon with the Asurion. Um, the Asurion coverage is a lot more expensive. The Square Trade uh, warranty was fifteen bucks, and I kind of had the thought like that's kind of cheap. Um, I feel like I might get screwed on this. Uh, the Asurion, I believe, on Amazon is thirty. Uh, it might be twenty though. If it's twenty, I'm going to be suspect of it, and I'm actually going to get the contract and read the. The, uh, the section on uh, farts, what's it called? Uh, da uh, blank damage. Uh, ah, physical damage, not physical damage. Um, I don't know, whatever. But, yeah. We'll get into that in a minute, though. Um, but, 50 bucks, if, if the GoPro Session 5 is 50 bucks on GoPro, uh, then that GoPro... Glo the <sighs> The GoPro Plus uh, is a way to get GoPros for 50 bucks each, and that's pretty damn good. So I might be on that train with you. Uh, it also depends on, like I said, if if you do that whole, if you get two GoPros basically for 50 bucks each, like, are you done forever, or do you just have to now buy another new one? Um, yeah. Uh, Krunk has five of those. Just use a UART. Okay, there you go. Uh, well, Krunk, he's trying to do it on his bench, though. Well, I figured, you guys probably figured it out in the chat. Space Truck and FPV with a $20 super chat. Dude, thank you so much. Super, super, super cool. Thanks for the content, man. You're definitely worth the sub. Awesome of you to say. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the goddamn Borg. <laughs> I should get, like, a, a Borg, um... Ah, shit. I, I, I wish I'd, uh... Today's 29, right? Yeah, I wish I'd thought thought it ahead of time. For, for number 30, I'd have put the, the board <laughs> mask on. Shane Drugger says... Shane Drugger says, uh, What are your thoughts on the naked GoPro Cinewhoops? Shane, thank you for the the reminder. I've been trying to show you this, guys, this to you guys for the last, like, four days since it popped up on the internet. Look at this shit! Look at this. They this sold out like instantly, but they they're selling this. Beta FPV is doing this mod with a PCB that they've created here. Uh, where the hell is it? Uh, it's somewhere else on their website, or maybe they just been posting about it on on Facebook. But they created a uh, a PCB that allows them to apparently do this, uh, what is it, a six? Uh, yeah, it's a six, so it's the it's the one with the good gyro data. What? It's 28 grams. Like, the only reason I didn't jump on this, because I caught it really early. Um, I didn't jump on this because I prefer Tommy's design. Um, I prefer the, uh, the, the big flat board here laid down flat, and then just the lens sticking up on top. Uh, so I'm kind of waiting for that. Plus, I'm just in no place to be spending <laughs> 200 bucks. But, uh, yeah, pretty fucking cool, right? <laughs> like, come on, dude. 
I I can't believe they're doing this. That I how did how did I mean I guess you just go on Amazon or you just stalk eBay for like a big lot of broken um, Hero Sixes, right? Uh, that got returned for whatever reason, and then you just charge your way through them. But man, like a company doing that, it, that's nuts, right? Like it's not just me. That that seems crazy, right? Um, all right, cool. Now I can close that tab because I'm not gonna buy one. Uh, Krunk says, switching between Twilight Outdoor, Cloudy, uh, etc. is nice. Yeah, it is, it's nice that you can switch between those, um, with the, uh, by, by shorting it, but for, like, initial, so oh, you know, I'm gonna, I have a, uh, the, the Run Cam Racer 3 is also like this, that's why I'm, I'm angry about this, because the Run Cam Racer 3 is in one of these glides, I built one of the glides to be a little bit lighter, um, so I ditched the Eagle, because that is a heavy camera, and I put the Racer 3 in it, and I can't use the remote, and I can't turn off the goddamn OSD. So the OSD is stuck on it, so I have to wire the fucking thing up to camera control now, um, because I can't just plug in the, you know, you can't turn the OSD off by just shorting those two pads out. So, um, yeah, I, and now I'm going to have to learn about camera control, because I never bothered to read up on it, because... A couple people, when it first came out, said, it doesn't work for shit, it's annoying, don't even bother. And I went, okay. So, now I'm going to have to learn something today, or I'll just procrastinate it until I eventually get sick of that camera, pull that camera out. Or maybe I'll get so sick of the OSD that it won't even be worth it to wire up that one extra wire. It'll just be easier, because I'll probably have it torn apart, to just throw an eagle in it. And I kind of want to have eagles in, in all of them anyway. We'll see. Uh, I am looking for a replacement to the to the Eagle because my supply is kind of dwindling and they are becoming harder and harder to find. Um, and they are heavy and they are kind of fragile. The, the, I keep breaking the cases on them. These all, all four of these all four of these have broken cases. Two of these four I've epoxied the the case back together like two or three times and they just keep breaking over and over and over again. Um, I have a different epoxy that I'm going to try. That was you. That was with um, Gorilla, uh, the brand Gorilla or Gorilla Glue might be the name of the brand. But um, I was using the Gorilla epoxy, and I stumbled across this epoxy test on uh, on YouTube, and that guy said that the Gorilla epoxy is really soft, and that the um, so weirdly I'd run out of the Gorilla epoxy, and man, we're getting in the weeds already. Um, and I ran out of the Gorilla epo Epoxy and I said, you know what, let me try this other one, just for the sake of trying something different. And this dude actually tested this epoxy and it did way better. It was way harder than the, than the Gorilla Epoxy. So maybe fixing these with this one, because that's literally the only problem. These, these four eagles are perfectly good, perfectly functioning cameras. Um, two of them I actually even epoxied the back to try to make them even more reliable. Um and made them heavier, which broke the cases, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, maybe if this stuff works, it, it won't be an issue, um, but I would love to find a camera almost as good, um, with as much field of view, which is, like, I need, like, 165, 160 bare minimum, um, I think these setups with the RC25G lens give me about 170 field of view, um, which I really like. It really mimics, like, like when I fly, it really mimics the, the human eye. Like, I think our eyes give us 180 degrees, um, field of view. Yeah, my hands are roughly, like, parallel to my head. Um, so yeah, it really, it just kind of, I don't know. I just prefer it. Mike Bergman, ah, yes, I have a turd of a flight controller I could use. All right, so we're good. I don't have to test these eight flight controllers. I'm glad that I got these out, though, because uh, one of the local dudes, Rusty, uh, is, just got a hot air station, and he had asked me if I had any um, any stuff that might just need components swapped out. And I actually noticed, weirdly, that on three of the four, I didn't realize I had so many blown up Talon boards, um, it makes sense, because I've been putting these in everything, and just smashing, like, for example, two of these broke, because they were mounted up front in the glide, and I broke the entire nose off of the glide, so, like, two of these talons broke in half with the nose of the quad, <laughs> uh, 
Um, one of these was a legitimate failure. Um, actually, no, sorry, two of them were. And on both of them, it is the uh, five volt BEC, so, and that's a it's a common chip that I found on Google for like no money. Um, so I think two of these just need the little hot air station. Boop, pop that off, drop a new one on for, you know, three cents per or whatever, and uh, they'll be good to go again. So that was kind of interesting. That that's what sort of made me think. Um, actually, I'm not sure that it's a five volt regulator. I just know that it's a regulator. Um, and what it kind of made me think is like, I wonder if I'm, um, I wonder if I'm maybe, I have this tendency to plug these things into USB, start farting around on Betaflight, and then <clears throat> I'll see something shiny, and I'll go over here and I'll spend like an hour on the internet um, with this thing just sitting plugged in, and I know that when it's plugged into USB, it's getting 5 volt from USB, and then it's having to drop that down to 3.3, I believe, for the all the internal circuitry and i'm thinking like well shit am i like is that what's doing it right because like an hour of of being plugged in it's gonna take us a lot of batteries to do that right 20 what's that 20 battery that's 20 batteries and I, this shit happens to me all the time <laughs> so i'm wondering like is that you guys see what i'm getting at there i don't know maybe somebody's smarter than me in the comments uh, well, I, I, I know you guys are smart. <laughs> I know there's people smarter than me, but uh, maybe somebody's uh, willing to drop some knowledge on me. Uh, Mar oh, come on, YouTube, really? Scrolling back up because YouTube did the thing. There we go. Uh, Mark Kunoff uh, sent you a question on Patreon earlier today. Uh, I was wondering where you... Where you buy your session fives? Uh, if you were to upgrade, what would you go? Uh, would you go to the Hero Eight? Uh, Mark Kunoff, uh, perfect segue. Let's just jump into the into the Square Trade uh, GoPro situation. We we've already been talking about it, so um, now's the time. All right. So uh, up until this point, and and I, I I'll probably dig up the the Patreon post uh, tonight and maybe take a look at what the previous research I'd uh, I'd done was, but. At the time that uh, the GoPro, whatever the fuck it is, the GoPro th warranty program through GoPro, um, when that came out, I took a minute to go and figure out all three options. So the three options that I can find um, for getting session fives are uh, Amazon, and you pay 140 bucks for the session, and then you pay another, I believe it's 30 for the warranty, uh, and away you go. And it's a refurb session. On eBay, if you give yourself a, if you do, if you search for GoPro Session Five and then you click Save This Search, they will send you a daily alert, uh, an eBay alert, and you can get sessions for between 100 and 110 bucks on eBay, which is what both of these are, and there's a Square Trade $15 protection plan that really sounds like it covers accidental da accidental damage. That's what it is, accidental damage. That's what, that's what, what the situation is. Um, so you buy this protection plan that on eBay doesn't spec it really sounds like it covers accidental damage. It doesn't say anywhere that it doesn't. Um, I guess I should have not. So th the full story was I bought one off of eBay that's over there and it was a $10 protection plan and it broke and I called Square Trade and they said, nope, this, this is the cheaper protection plan that you got. Uh, you got to get the more expensive protection plan to cover accidental damage. I said, okay. And I bought these two. And it was a $15 protection plan. So I thought, well, fuck, that's more expensive, right? That makes sense. Um, <clears throat> come to find out, the day after you do your purchase, they email you a contract. And buried in that contract is accidental damage is not, uh, is not covered. So, today... I finally get around to... So I've got two of these. I didn't know this until today. Today I get... I finally get around to... Well, actually a week ago. I finally get around to calling Square Trade. They say, oh, you got to get your receipts. you got to take pictures. you got to take pictures of the serial numbers and email those to us. And then we'll call you back. And, of course, they don't call you back. So then I wait. And then I call them back again. And they say, oh, no, you also have to call GoPro. And you have to ask them if they can help you fix it. Well, it's physical damage. They don't turn on. Oh, it doesn't matter. you got to call GoPro. you got to get the name of the rep. you got to get the time of the call. you got to get them to email you uh, a thing certifying that uh, whatever, right? Fucking call GoPro. 
you know, I do one of these things a day because if I do more than one of these things a day, I'll fucking kill everyone in sight. And I just stay at home now, so Kristen is the only one in sight. And I don't want to kill her, so um, I just do one a day. So I call GoPro and I go, you know, the, the, the GoPro was actually really cool. I, they, you know, usually when you call and they have the script and they have to ask you, the, when you fucking call Comcast because your internet's out and they say, can you check the number on the back? Please unplug it. And you don't actually unplug it because you've unplugged it 15 other times on the phone with those idiots. And so you don't unplug it because you know it doesn't make a shit bit of difference. And then you just wait and you say, okay, I plugged it back in. And they say, oh, okay, now it, let me send the reset packet. And then they send the reset packet and your shit works again. Right? So... Um, where was I at before that? Um, so I go through the whole thing with GoPro. Oh, so GoPro didn't do that. I, I said to the guy, I, I just said, hey, look, I've had a lot of these things. I know when they break. I know how they break. I've plugged this into power. I've pushed both buttons. I've held both buttons. I've held one button. I've held each button. I've done it plugged in. I've done it not plugged in. It's it's physically broken, and the guy was like, "All right, cool," <laughs> and then we just moved on with the call. So that I I, I was um, that was awesome. I've never had a customer a customer support person uh, be an actual human being that I can speak to like that, and they go, "Okay, I won't fucking waste your and my time right now. I'll just go to the next step because you're obviously a semi intelligent human being." I digress. Uh, so. Today, finally call, get all that shit figured out, finally call Square Trade back. Hey, I jumped through all the goddamn hoops that you guys maybe jumped through that I'm sure nobody else jumps through, and that's how you guys are making money. Um, what are you going to do for me? And they said, oh, well, uh, now that I look at your contract, it says that you're uh, not covered for accidental damage. Ah, shit, the giveaway alarm. Giveaway alarm has to wait. Sorry. Um, and I said, no, 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 no. So I went to the website and I looked at and I, I pulled up the page for the fifteen dollar plan. I explained the whole story. Um, nothing we can do for you. Let me talk to your manager. Okay, whole fucking thing all over again. You know, whole 10, 10, 15 minute run around all over again. Same thing. Who's your boss? Let me talk to them. And at this point, like I'm really starting to get pissed off, and like I'm also really starting to feel like an asshole because I don't want to be Debbie. Um, but like this is two hundred bucks that we're talking about, right? And like. I felt like they fucked me because I called them and they said you have to do the more expensive plan and I looked at the more expensive plan that was being offered and it I'll, I mean if you go and look at the $15 digital camera protection plan on eBay you tell me that shit doesn't look like it covers accidental damage all right um, I've worked in retail for a long time I the last thing I want to be is this guy but whatever third manager whole fucking thing all over again no nothing who's your boss who do i need to talk to to get something done here now i'm an hour in now i'm just like fuck it i'm an hour in i'm I, i'm i'm committed i i will i'm i will go down with the ship in flames um he just sends me to another manager i i specifically said like let me talk to your boss he sends me to another manager, and the first words out of her mouth were, um, so, my, one of the other managers here just said you wanted to talk to another manager, and I'm like, oh, fucking no, he didn't. <laughs> right? And I'm just like, I just leave, and at this point, I've been, like, Googling shit, and, like, there's this, there was this big, uh, class action lawsuit with them, and, um, and Target, I think, that they, they got the shit kicked out of, they being Square Trade. Um, so, so I just launch into it, this woman, with this woman, you know, I, <laughs> like, do I have to contact this law firm about this to, to get in on this class action lawsuit that they seem to think that they can win? And, and I'm just going on and on and on and, and, um, <laughs> like keep not screaming, not being, you know, profane, like no curse word. There's no need for that, but just, Okay. So <laughs> she comes back on and she's just so nice and she she's the first person that actually listened and actually like didn't just read off a goddamn script and she's like, you know, that really sucks. I totally understand you. Um, I don't know if the class action lawsuit tirade that I went on had anything to do with it. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't, but um, she was like, I'm gonna make this right with you from the jump. And like I've been that guy I've been that guy in customer service. Um, before where like I'm the fourth person that they talk to and they're so fucking pissed and I'm just like dude I'm gonna help you out because I can sorry the other th three people were being complete jerk offs that just 
were pissed because you came at them like this, but like, let me just make this right for you so that I don't lose you as a customer for life and have you shit on us to every single person under the sun, right? Um, because obviously this guy's not going away. So yeah, she was totally cool. She's like, I'm gonna make a one-time exception. And here's what she said. With Square Trade, a Square Trade warranty will never cover accidental damage on refurbished or used or just not new items, period. So th now we all know um, Square Trade warranties will only cover accidental damage on brand new items. Um, so they hooked me up. I guess technically you could call and scream at them and waste an hour and a half of your life, but I, I don't know. Is it worth that? <laughs> is, it, is it worth is your time and, and shortening your life by however much from that amount of frustration uh, really worth it? Uh, because I'm sure you're not going to get that on the first person that you talk to, right? Um, but, yeah, so, the, I think the eBay option is now dead to me. Um, because it's 100 bucks for the GoPro, and that's it. There's no, you're not going to get any accidental damage protection, just bullshit warranty protection. And we, we're never going to have these, well, I mean, I'm never going to have these things working long enough to, for that to actually work. So, for me, that option is out. Option... The, the Amazon option is, is still real, right? 140 and then 20 or 30. Um, because you get that back, right? You get, at, you break it and you get the whole 140 back. Like, that's, that's great. You basically end up, oh God, oh God. I was going to try to repair these. As if that would do anything. Um, you basically pay 30 or 20, I, I think it's 30. You basically pay 30 bucks for a GoPro session. That's great, right? Um, because you get the whole 140 back, and then you just buy another one. Uh, or the GoPro, uh, whatever, GoPro's in-house warranty thing, which I think... So, I bet... Okay, so I guess it's an easy decision. The, it, it, From what I can see, the GoPro plan is 50 bucks a GoPro, basically, right? Uh, whereas, on Amazon, you have to pay 140 for it initially, but then you just roll that 140 down the road with the $30 Assurian plan if, uh, if, 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 who's going to get back to us about the Assurian plan? Uh, bop, 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 So there's our, <clears throat> there's uh, GoPro Session 5. Uh, Big Willy. Big Willy's going to get back to us about Assurian. Okay, now I have to get a drink. <clears throat> and, uh... I would love to get caught up in the chat, but there's no chance in hell. So we'll go straight to giveaways! Ah! Oh, I missed him. Straight to the giveaways we go! Uh, I'm nowhere near the bottom of the chat. Okay, so when I scroll... Ah, oh, the fucking... I know what YouTube's gonna do, though. It's gonna screw me when I try to scroll back up, and I'm gonna miss comments. Alright. Let me rip through a couple of these comments to get somewhat caught up in the chat. Everybody stop at tagging me for a minute. Let me get caught up. <laughs> um, <coughs> Random Chaos with a three ninety nine super chat. Brother, thank you very much for that. Super cool of you. Have a burger or a beer on me. Keep it up, man. Um, there is beer in the fridge, but I drank beer yesterday and the day before. And uh, right on cue, my stomach is a fucking hot mess today. So... I will have to, uh, I don't know what it is, man. I, the older I get, the, the less tolerant I am of alcohol. Um, although I haven't done mixed drinks in a while. I've just drank beer for the last couple of years. So I guess we should get some hard alcohol and I'll see if my stomach is as much of a dick with that as it is with beer. Luke Meyer, uh, we talked in DC about the Mobula 6 being the best whoop. Do you still stand by that? Luke Meyer, I think I remember you, dude. Very cool. Thanks for, for swinging by. Um... It really depends if you can buy it from somewhere that is going to replace it or at least give you a new um, uh, board for it when that board fails because apparently those boards, it's not if, it's when uh, from what I keep hearing, then yes, I think it's the best because 80 bucks is just ridiculous. You get the, the, the run cam, um, that really good run cam camera, I forget what the hell it is, you get the crazy motors. Um, and you get the lightest setup, right? Because the VTX and the receiver are both on the on the main board. Um, 
so yeah, if if like if RDQ or Get FPV or Pyrodrone will replace it or repair it or send you a new uh, board when it fails, then yeah, for sure. And if if you're willing to tear it apart every so often to replace the main board, um, and I guess also if you're willing to put up with the nonsense where if you uh, run the batteries down below three volts, it wipes off it, it wipes all of Betaflight and you have to set everything up from scratch again. Um, then, yeah, I think it's the best. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of caveats there, but technically, if you're willing to put up with all that shit, then, yeah, for sure, 80 bucks is a, an amazing deal. Um, I'm doing a Whoop build tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, I was going to push it, but I am I really want to do it. Where the hell is it? Uh, no, it's over here. Here it is. Uh, I'm doing a... Uh, uh, Ultimate freestyle brushless whoop um, build that might be cool uh, and but is a lot more expensive than the Mobula Six, <laughs> like damn near twice as much I think. Uh, but it'll have the best or at least some of the lightest weight components and we'll see how it is. I don't know. I really like the uh, the for me. I, with a tiny whoop, I I just the the it's the stuff is so small and it just like it makes me so goddamn angry to have to deal with those little screws and the little fucking motor plugs and the the goddamn motor screws and like it, it just it frustrates me enough where um, I'm now just all aboard the newbie drone train because their flight controller is obviously the nicest um, and it's got the VTX built in which is really handy. Um, it's just better made because it's not made by crappy model and um, yeah it's it's more expensive and it's a little bit heavier but it's extremely durable uh, maybe we'll fly it tonight if, if you remind me uh, we'll fly it tonight because I have a big I have a big pile of charged up batteries for it and I have the uh, the 25,000 kV motors on it uh, which are just hysterical um, and I've finally got it dialed in to the point where I'm kind of happy with how it performs. Um, so I, I, I was flying it the other night on the stream, and I, and I was actually able to, um, I don't know, when I saw, I flew not horribly, how about that, there we go, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, Larry is just watching the stream enough to be part of the collective, of course Larry, yeah man. Uh, people who come and hang out in the comments and, like, participate, the, that's the collective, man. I, the, the Patreon thing, you guys asked for. Um, I did that for you guys, and I appreciate that so much, and it's been amazing, and it's mainly allowed me to do the giveaways, and that's huge. Um, but yeah, man, I, I, I never wanted anything other than a cool community of people that like what I like so that we can all share knowledge and build better stuff and, and just, you know, enjoy the, the, the weirdness together um because it's hard right like it's it's we're we're the niche within the niche within the niche within the niche you know we're the we're the crazies that want micros to fly well what what is the matter with us right <laughs> i mean I, I guess not all of us but <clears throat> the the majority of the community is just five inch or die um and that's not us and i don't think that's a lot of you guys um if it is sorry i don't mean to offend you you're actually way smarter than us because you're able to fly something that flies better and doesn't act like such a pain in the ass all the time and five inch components are way more reliable and it's just way more smart to only fly five inch rigs but five inch rigs you can't i can't walk out of my deck and fly a five inch rig so it, that's i just keep telling myself that i just keep telling myself that to justify my crows <laughs> um but no you guys I, I think you guys know what i'm saying there i hope i hope i didn't just uh alienate everyone <laughs> Ben Watkins got his 3 inch and 5 inch bang god frames from Catalyst Machine Works I know you said they were heavy but screw your opinion <laughs> Ben I mean them being heavy is that's just science right um, I didn't say they were bad I, I will never say that they're bad I think they're unbelievably interesting frames um, they're just not for me that's all I, I'm just one dude that flies wacky weirdo stuff I am the niche within the niche within the niche within the niche within the niche, right? How many people do you know that fly 600 gram 5 inch rigs? <laughs> Not many, because it's just silly. It's completely against the norm, but it's what I like. Stephen Rossi, their policy states two replacements per annual year. Well, go 
Okay, so, but, Steven, did you say it's five bucks a month? Um, so that's... Okay, so five, so that's 60 bucks a year, so two replacements per year, so three per 60 bucks, so 20 bucks per GoPro. Uh, no, not 20 bucks per GoPro. Um, 20 bucks per GoPro is if you get through three of them a year, and then whatever they charge for the GoPro. So let's say they charge 100 bucks for the GoPro. Uh, uh, oh, but wait, it's two replacements per year, not two replacements total. So that's interesting. So I guess you buy one from them, <coughs> and then you break it twice, and then if you have to, you buy another one from them in that year. <laughs> and then at the end of that year, you just... Although until they uh, run out. Interesting. That, uh, man, shit, that might be the uh, the cheapest option then. Your OFPV, I think it states two... Per hey, look at you guys, right on top of one another. Uh, scrolling, 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 getting caught up, getting caught up, getting caught up, getting caught up. Uh, Tiago, if you short the camera control, it changes, uh, oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's what it does. It changes from UART to the switches. I remember that now, way, way, way long ago. Okay, uh, Krunk says, Toothless 2, uh, it's gotta be a run cam. Run cam is, for whatever reason, the, 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 everybody else is having such a hard time with sticking with the goddamn... Uh, protocol that allows rapid fire to work properly. Um, so I, I, I can't do uh, Caddx or Foxeer because of that. Plus, Foxeers always have a very strange uh, fisheye effect that I just cannot get used to. Um, I'm willing to try another one, but uh, yeah, I think it's I, I think it's going to be uh, I think it's going to have to be run cam. Uh, TweetFPV says, bad news, his Insta360 isn't doing well these days. Uh, well, that means mine's going to explode immediately, so I'm glad that I'm forcing myself to only buy it from Best Buy with the protection plan. William Barlow, uh, think where we were at two years ago and where we're at now and where we'll be at in two more years. What were we talking about, William? Um, <clears throat> cameras? Yeah. That's... If you were talking about cameras, that's very true. Urando, yeah, the Micro Eagle was discontinued uh, many months ago, uh, but there are still a handful of stores that have them in a dusty uh, corner of a closet, and uh, I've got about, I think I have about eight of them total, because I've got three, <clears throat> no, I have seven total, because these are the four, these are my four working ones that just have broken cases, and then three... Of, no, I do. Okay, I have them in four rigs. I have them in four rigs. So yeah, I have eight total, but if I can't, I might, if I can't get these cases to hold up, I'm screwed. And like every time I have to epoxy it back together, it gets a little bit harder because the epoxy like builds up and I guess I could kind of chisel it out of there, but I don't know. Um, Love Drummer says, what's up? What's up to you? Started playing drums when I was nine years old, actually took lessons from here's a here's a insider baseball for you guys go on google and search for tony di nicola de wait here i'll type it tony di nicola that was my uh that was my private jazz drum instructor for many many years um my mom worked with him at uh, the college in new jersey back then it was called trenton state college and i got all those private lessons for free because <laughs> they worked together um, yeah, his waiting room had, uh, I remember his waiting room having pictures wall to wall. I need to stall because YouTube just did the fucking thing again where it zoomed my chat to the bottom. Um, in his waiting room, there were like wall to wall pictures, like a comedy act, you know, like literally butted up against each other wall to wall, all four corners. And when I was little, I never really looked at them, nor did, was, nor was I really all that interested in jazz. So I didn't know who they were, even if I had looked at them. Where the hell? Come on, YouTube. Uh, I went back to visit him before he died, um, many, many, many years later when I was in college, I think, and, uh, all those pictures are him with every single jazz great you could possibly imagine. Um, name a jazz great, and there was him playing with them. Uh, he was an old dude. He died in his, he died about 15, 20 years ago, and he was old, old, 80s, 90s, I think. Come on, where is it? There it is. There's Love Drummer saying what's up. Um, Ranflin Diaz, I think you can still find the Runcam Nano 3 on Banggood. Runcam Nano 3. Is that a good one, Ranflin? 
Um, Parklander says that JB Weld is fantastic. Been using it for years. What about the Run Camp Phoenix? Yeah, I'm I'm really interested in the Run Camp Phoenix. Um, I I was really excited to put the um, to put the Phoenix Nano in the uh, in the Tiny Trainer, but then I realized I could put HD in it, and I was like, well, that'll make me be different, and, and that'll be clickbaity, and um, so I don't know. We'll see. I did that build uh, last night. For anybody that hasn't checked it out, last night for like four and a half hours, I built this tiny trainer from uh, almost the ground up. I, I'd had, I did some tedious like uh, motors uh, to to uh, LED race wires ahead of time, but other than that, yeah, I built this thing from the ground up, and it was a uh, um, it was sponsored by FPV Crate and uh, Fly Five Thirty Three, and yeah, it was super fun go check it out and uh if you'd like spread it around um i kind of i kind of messed up uh they wait a second no we'll talk about that later back to the chat hold on because we gotta get to um <laughs> sorry guys uh mark kunoff sent you a question on Patreon. okay good we got to that Crunk says amazon su oh, are you shitting me amazon supply of hero five sessions are gone get the are you shitting me? No. no. No, 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 Well, it looks like the GoPro thing is better anyway, but that's... No. I refuse to believe it. Man. Come on. Well, um, that's happened before. Uh, it's it's just a seller. It, hopefully, another seller will <clears throat> will find a big box of them, and <sighs> that sucks, man. Um, <laughs> hold on. Rob Axelson, warranty equals dragging feet. Did you try to reboot? I tried everything, Rob. Literally everything. Um, and, and not to mention that I've I've broken so many of these. I'm I'm <clears throat> I might be in double digits on the sessions. Um, I can tell if they're full blown broken, like when it ha like when I get it out to the quad the, the and, and pick it up and see what the session is doing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know whether it's shot or not. <laughs> so um <clears throat> Ooh, 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 I'm actually getting caught up. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Big Willie says, I will. You better. Uh, Rob X says, make it a strong drink. I will. Uh, more props today, Meat Wad Fairy says. What's that mean? More props today? Uh, Luke Meyer, we talked about the... Mine. Okay, awesome. Uh, Zach Barnes, confirmed with FPV Crate today that if you buy Tiny Trainer Kit and they offer it as an... Wait, what? Wait. Zach Barnes confirmed with FPV Crate today that if you buy the Tiny Trainer Kit and they offer it as an option later, I don't know what it is, um, uh, you'll still have that option too. So, what's it, Zach Barnes? Uh, Rob Axelson, if your stomach's upset with beer, uh, you may be glucose intolerant. Yeah, I've thought that before, but it, the, it doesn't come out with any other glucose. Um, so... Yeah, it's not it's not bad enough that you know what it is too. It's kind of nice because I beer just doesn't make me feel good anyway, and it's really expensive. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's when when my stomach. Here's the deal: my stomach gets angry when I eat like an idiot. So every time I go to like fix the problem, I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. no, no, this is good. Let it <laughs> let it do that. It'll force you to eat good, you idiot. Um, and especially because I don't exercise, it's kind of like, well, if I don't eat good, I'll just die. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's just self-regulating problem. It's a self-correcting problem. You're welcome, Luke. Uh, KC. Very cool. Rob Axison, are you wearing the same shirt from yesterday? I am, Rob, um, and I'm, I'm considering just wearing this shirt until, uh, there's some actual change. Uh, and that's where we're gonna stop. Uh, I got a little too open the other night and and turned some people off and I don't want to ever do that um, I want this to be a safe space that you guys can escape to 
And um, yeah, we'll leave it there. Uh, Ranflin says, what time will you do the build tomorrow? Ranflin, I do not know. I am, um, I just have such a weird smatterassing of, of stuff that needs to get done that uh, trying to plan and schedule a stream is really tough for me. Um, so click the bell, click the subscribe, do all those things. And um, yeah, if, if you miss me, you'll be able to watch it on replay forever. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Rob Axis says, "Do a laundry stream. Uh, we would have to do it on the on the cell phone because we don't have a uh, washer and dryer here, and this complex doesn't have a a local one. So we have to go uh, all the way out like fucking peasants and <laughs> do our laundry in a in a laundry mat." Uh, <clears throat> what else do we have? Okay, almost caught up. Almost caught up. Uh, CGA FPV, is that thing real with modular resetting below 3 volts? I don't know if it's 3 volts, but I, I, there is a voltage. You, if, if you just fly it until the battery uh, shits out, it wipes the whole board. Um, and you have to re... Uh, you have to put in all your Betaflight settings again. After that happens once or twice, I'm sure you just go down to the CLI, type dump, copy it, paste it into a text document, and then the next time it does it, you plug it in, copy, paste into the CLI and you're back, but having to plug into Betaflight over and over again like that would get tiring. Um, <clears throat> uh, I've had two, and they're fine, but my friend has one and his does it. I thought it was just a bad egg. Nope. Apparently it's on... I keep hearing that it's all of them, but it doesn't sound like yours does that, so I guess it's not all of them, but um, tons of people are, are, are having that. Uh, Cement Kid says, I just built one of those. Very cool. You've been flying it, Cement? How's it fly? Uh, the hardest solder is the crossfire receiver, says Cement Kid. Um, the crossfire receiver. Which solder is that? Uh, not, surely not the, uh, not the little inverter in the QX7. Um, I've done that and, I mean, that wasn't easy, but it also wasn't that hard. Uh, looks like there's a, there's a Lawrenceville connection. Oh, snap! Luke Meyer and Pelithius are going to be flying together this weekend, next weekend. Maybe. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh, good one with a 399 super chat. Thanks, brother. Much appreciated. What's the best way to mount uh, RX antenna on newbie drone brushless? Uh, newbie drone brushless. So you've got. Oh, the, so you have the diversity? Um, I think they might have changed. So my stuff is all prototype um, for the newbie drone brushless, but. Um, I think that they still ship them with the, the diversity antenna, right? So here's how I have it run, and I have had zero problems with it run like this. So let me get some more light going on over here for you. All right, and then we're going to do giveaways, because I think I'm caught up enough where um, it won't lose its place. So I have the receiver. I guess I've never really shown you guys this. What am I doing? I, this is why I have uh, this little guy. This is the whole purpose here. Jeez. Okay, so the receiver is um, is VHB'd to the back of the camera in there, so it sits at an angle, and then the antennas come out on this side, and I've got one of them going up there, and I've got the other one going back there. And they, they stick out, like, ever so slightly, but they don't stick out enough to, to really be a problem and they just magically like stay. I, I, I just recently changed it. Um, I had them both laying flat on the board and I really didn't like that. I wanted to get them going upwards, but I don't want to stick them like way out of the holes. Um, so I just tried this to get as much of a V as I could. And I was like, yeah, this ain't gonna work. Um, and it's been fine. It's been totally fine. So yeah, that's my, uh, I think that's kind of the best bet in trying to get protection, but trying to get them as vertical as possible. Um, and also get a, as much of a 90 as possible there as well. So yeah, good question, brother. Um, <clears throat> all right, so that's perfect. Let's do, let's do, fucker. Let's do some giveaways. All right. The moment you've all been waiting for. Look, that's an Emacs RS 2306. Haha, <laughs> in 1900 KV. They only had one left. Uh, so I bought it. Alright, first up, we got a really cool one. Euro! Are you out there? You guys seen Euro in the stream? 
Everybody that's on the on the five dollar tier needs to thank Euro because he donated this little uh, Diatone GTB. Oh farts! I forget the number. <laughs> two two something two forty one niner. Um, you guys know the frame. It's the it's the frame that looks like this. Um, and it's like shockingly strong. I took this thing corner to corner. It's like it's like no millimeters thick. I took it corner to corner. I'm like, what? Like there are there are like three mil frames with that aren't this stiff. I'm I'm shocked. Um, and the TPU canopy and all the hardware and all that good stuff. Um, so Euro, thanks, brother. Very very cool of you for sending us over for the giveaway. Show that man some love. Uh, click his name. Go to his channel. Do all the things. Uh, so. Oh, I haven't done anything yet. I gotta do all the things, guys. Jesus. Okay. Uh, I didn't even pull the window up. I forgot how to stream, yo. Okay. So, all I actually need to do is that, 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 and that. And now I just need to come here and just go clear, clear, clear. Oh! What happened? Oh boy. <laughs> there was a... There was an error. There was an error, guys. Oh, boy, what is the deal here? Oh, nope, there it goes. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Don't panic. God. You guys are so reactionary. Um, all right, wheels are clear. Uh, the things are thinged. Oh, I didn't even talk about the... Oh, man, I'm the worst streamer ever. Um, so, all right. We're going to do the giveaways at in 10 minutes. So you guys have 10 minutes. Um, if you're new to the stream and you don't know how the giveaways work, here it is. Uh, <clears throat> link to Patreon down below in the description. You go over to Patreon. For three bucks, it gets you access. That's ten cents a day. If you don't have ten cents a day, then that's okay. Um, after that, there are tiers that uh, and get you entered into these weekly Monday night giveaways. Uh, $5 tier, $10 tier, $20 tier, $30 tier. $5 tier enters you to win stuff like this that's for a toothpick so toothpick and tiny whoop parts in the five dollar tier in the ten dollar tier you're going to get entered to win parts like i forgot to grab one uh so <laughs> i'm gonna grab in a minute uh, uh uh something from the giveaway box that is for um three inch micro brushless rigs Heavier than toothpick rigs, but still micro brushless rigs. That's the $10 a month tier. The $20 a month tier is for 5-inch rigs. Um, and then the $30 a month tier gets you entered into all three of those giveaways. So every single Monday, you'll get put into three giveaways. So that's 12 a month, and it's great, and that's how it works. Uh, so, you guys have the next 10 minutes if you want to join in on the giveaways. Uh, so you go over there, let's say you decide you want to be on the 3 inch micro blushes tier, you're going to pay 10 bucks today, that's going to cover you for the next month, and then you can choose to keep going or not. And I'll put you into the giveaways for the next 4, you know, today and the next 3 Mondays after this. So that's how it works. That's our giveaways. Um, Alright. So I need to hold off on this, and let's hammer some more uh, chat comments with Orange. Uh, Larry asks, do you ever mess with Cinewoops? Uh, I think that may be my next build instead of a 7-inch. Uh, Larry, I've been really dying to build the Cinewoop. Um, I, I tried to just kind of convert my um, the Acrobrat over to one, and that kind of sort of worked. Um, but I've been just trying to be a good boy and, and only buy, like, replacement glide arms and, like, just hold off. Uh, so I, I, yeah, I, the Cinewoop frames and, like, the whole, you know, setup and motors and all that. I guess I have motors and whatnot, but the frames are kind of expensive. I've always, I, I've also sort of been waiting for a frame to kind of knock my socks off and, and Kebab's frame might be that, which is coming soon. Uh, so... Hopefully he sends me, hopefully he wants some crash testing done and he sends me a prototype. That would be pretty awesome. Um, but, uh, yeah, because I guess I do have, now that I sit here and think about it, I do have a set of T-Motor 1507s. Um, I've got ESCs and flight controllers all over the goddamn place. Um, yeah, so, I guess all I need is a frame. <laughs> 
Uh, tweet out Petey likes the shirt. Thank you, brother. Uh, Rav Axelson, gonna send you some hair gel. <laughs> Keep your good hair days intact, dude. Me and hair gel are just not friends. That, sh that shit. My hair is already kind of oily because uh, I'm half Italian. And uh, it's huge. And I push it out of my face all the time. Uh, yeah, hair gel. Woo hoo hoo, boy. <laughs> uh, Athix says, Quad 66 has tuning issues with newbie drone board uh, with 65mm and 3 inch. So I'm looking for Quad 66 in the comments, right? Are you calling out a comment, um, Athix? I don't see Quad 66 in the comments. What are you talking about when you say Quad 66, Athix? Uh, CGK, do you, uh, why do you favor 3 inch over 5 inch? I don't. Um, I very much favor 5 inch, but I can't walk out on the, on the front deck and fly um, 5 inch. Uh, but I can walk out on the deck and do this with the tiny trainer. Or the computer will fail. You know, either or. Here you go. Tiny trainer. This is like uh, battery number two. And I blew up the VTX at the end of it. Well, the VTX blew up at the end of it. Uh, which I, I think was my fault. I'll give you guys some audio, too. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, this is the Caddix Baby Turtle. And I'm mainly just farting around with the tune. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, there's a little bit of weirdness. I, I don't, I don't know. There's definitely jello. For sure there's jello, but two of these motors are pretty banged up. So it could be that. Yeah, it's got this big, it's got that big wobble. It really, it's not handling prop wash all that well. The FPV feed is just so bad. It's incredible. <laughs> yeah, so even like coming down the bottom of power loops there, um, it's it's just lacking uh, D gain. And I just started to, to push P and D gain in when uh, the VTX let go. So that was kind of annoying. I'm actually doing that right now. Right now I'm actually on the ground in the OSD uh, adding P and D gain in. The microphone doesn't sound bad, right? There was also this... <clears throat> there was this weird, like, latency... I don't know. There was some weirdness. I, I gotta... I don't know. That's why I kept doing... Usually I just do these moves and then I start flying for real, but... There was just some... There was some strangeness. I... I couldn't stop doing this stuff because it, like... It, it wasn't... Uh... It wasn't being consistent. Like, the... The stick feel... I don't know, man. I, I gotta... I gotta get it back into beta flight. Maybe I have something set wrong in beta flight. I, it, it's... It's flying kinda okay, but the jello is really bugging the shit out of me, and... I don't know. I'll spend some time with it. The AIO... The, I'm new to the whole AIO board thing, um, so maybe there's some, some weirdness there that I just don't know about. I'm used to 20 by 20 stuff. 30 by 30 and 20 by 20 stuff. So there you guys go. There's a little bit of a uh, tiny trainer. Um, wow, we were doing the... Oh wait, no, I'm stalling for the... Um, I'm stalling for the... For the next 10 minutes for the giveaways. Okay, cool. Uh, it's pointed back at me so you guys can actually hear me. Uh, Krunk says, I do. I have no idea what he was, what you're, you were, <laughs> we were talking about, Krunk. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Um, I gotta get better at staying up on the chat, my god. 
Uh, Cement Kid says, what flight controller are you using on the light whoop build? I am using the uh, beta FPV one that apparently is going to just fail as soon as I put power to it, according to everybody over on um, Kebab's uh, Facebook group. Uh, but it's the lightest one, uh, which is why I got it. It's got the um, it's got the receiver on board. So this is a this is a, not an outside whoop. This is a a whoop for like here, small apartment. Um, so it's the lightest because it's got uh, okay. That's the wrong camera. It's the lightest because it's got the uh, the scallops cut out, you know, and it's one S only, which is what I want to do. Um, this is the the lightest and toughest frame. The meteor, I think it's the meteor frame. Uh, so yeah, we got the lightest flight controller with the lightest frame, uh, BT 2.0 for all the juicy goodness, um, and then I've got the uh, the tiny whoop pinch cam, which is usually the tiny whoop cams are the lightest camera solution. Um, it's probably not with this stupid CP antenna on it, but it'll give me great video quality uh, for 30 seconds until the first crash, and then it'll explode and I'll swap it out. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we're doing the, uh, the 0802 22,000 kV motors. I have the, uh, the beta FPV ones that are on bearings, and I also have the iFlight uh, motors, same size, same kV, that are also on bearings. Uh, and then, and, and it'll be, a, so it'll be a really interesting kind of comparison to the, um, to the newbie drone setup, which has the 25,000 kV motors, right? So more power here, but also more weight. Uh, this canopy is incredibly durable, but it's a little bit heavier than uh, what I'm going to have on here, which is going to be the the infinitely lightweight uh, Tiny Whoop canopies. This is actually the new generation uh, canopy, the lower profile canopy, since the uh, the pinch camera is is smaller. Um, and this is on the newbie drone uh, cockroach frame, which again is incredibly durable, but a tiny little bit heavier. Uh, so yeah, it'll be cool. It'll it'll sort of be power. It'll be like a five inch comparison, right? Of like seven hundred gram big power twenty two oh eight rig versus lightweight <clears throat> twenty three oh six rig, kind of sorta. You know, lightweight less power, heavyweight uh, more power. So yeah, I'm I've been I've been waiting for these canopies to come in for like literally months. Well, not even come in, but like be created because the pinch camera is brand new. Um, so yeah, this will be fun. We'll do this tomorrow for sure. Um, I'm I'm loving flying whoops, and I also have this little guy from Newbie Drone, which will be awesome when I finally get the Insta360 Go, because this hangs on the cockroach frame on the bottom, and you hang the Insta360 Go off the bottom of the, uh, of the cockroach frame, and... I'm going to do some cool shit with that because people aren't even going to yell at you. They're just going to laugh and, like, smile. I'm going to the mall with that thing. I'm going everywhere. I'm hotel diving. Fucking, yeah. Inside, though. Screw the outside of these places. We're going inside. Um, Rob Axelson says, 4.5 hours and... 20 minutes before you discovered S-Bus and not Tramp. Yeah, right? No, it was, um... It wasn't S-Bus. It was, um... Uh, it was on um, TBS. It was on TBS rather than Tramp. <laughs> but I only wasted like four or five minutes figuring that out. Uh, Dave's FPV says the sessions were gone next week, last week. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's so recent. That's so annoying. Uh, uh, Mark Kunoff asks, what's going on with the TB3 build? Uh, it's over there. Uh, sitting on top of the uh, Glide Hammer build that needs a new flight controller. Uh, the glide hammer gets first dibs on my time, and then I'll do the toothpick. Uh, there's a chance that the VTX, so that I put the VTX and the RXSR out of the Wii Mix that got run over by a 5,000 pound SUV. Um, and when I put power to the two of them, they both lit up and I was like, oh wow, they survived, cool. Um, and then I put it together and the RXSR won't bind and the VTX uh, is not looking so hot. But that was before I realized there's a CLI dump that you need to do with the Ishii Nano um, on top of putting it on the Tramp protocol in the VTX tables. So the VTX might actually be fine. I would love it if the VTX was fine. 
Um, I fucking hate that the receiver's not fine because that was my last depinned RXSR. And if you've ever depinned an RXSR, it is just the worst thing ever. The pads are so close together, they are so small. First of all, it's almost impossible to get the goddamn plug header off in the first place because it's five pins wide and like it's just it's it's just a complete nightmare. It's totally doable, but it's um it's one of the more challenging soldering jobs I've ever had to do. Uh it might be the worst. It might actually be the hardest. Um the pads just constantly bridge. Just over and over and over and over again, the pads bridge back and uh, bridge together. Cage Drummer, have you got the Whoop package for Velocidrone yet? Just downloaded it. Seems good. I have not. Um, I don't use Velocidrone all that much, um, so I, I just kind of stick with uh, with um, the standard like whatever uh, non expansion pack. Uh, Metal Dirt Skin, that's what we keep saying about Valvo 240s until they all got crushed. Yeah. I got a, uh, my buddy, uh, up in, uh, uh, Matt Torinetta up in New Jersey that used to autocross with us is a huge Volvo 240 fan. And, uh, yeah, he would tell me about that all the time. Like, yeah, there's, there's some, but <laughs> they're slowly disappearing. I mean, it's, it's like that with everything, you know, it's, it's, it was like that for me with, uh, 96 to, well, no, 94 to 99 Mustangs. Um, that SN95 body style slowly disappeared a little bit. Um, it's been happening to me with the with the 99 Miata. Um, black body panels are very hard to come come by for, um, they're, most of the body panels are shared, but it's not a big amount of time. It's from 99 to 2004, I believe. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's sad, man. Uh, Rob Axelson says, wear your shirts, do an auction, build your income. <laughs> I wish it was that easy, Rob. I thought it was going to be that easy, but apparently not. Zach Barnes, so in full, I confirmed today with FPV Crate that if you buy the Tiny Trainer box and they add the Tiny Tiny's LEDs kit as an option later, you can still add it. Awesome. Okay, cool. I had a feeling that might be what you were saying, um, Zach, but I, I, I didn't want to, uh, yeah. Uh, Rumi Tim, I've got a nice relaxing long range video you could throw up while you work. Dude, do it. Put it up there. Um, do the thing. Uh, Rob Axelson, $3.99. Brother, thank you. Uh, just because. Love your content and support. Much appreciated, man. I, uh, I appreciate you coming and hanging. All you guys, of course. Uh, hey, I'm at the bottom of the chat. Look at me go. And it's 11.15, so you guys got a little bit extra time there. Um... All right, perfect. So I'm going to come back up to Rob's super chat when we're ready to go. Uh, okay, I have to do the thing in the place. Here we go. Uh, okay, CSV. And open that. Let's see if I can talk through a, uh, a question while I do this. Um, Stop making excuses. I can't tell the difference. Fly and enjoy it. What were we talking about? Forget what we were talking about. Um, Larry just joined Patreon. This is my first time ever doing that. Make me not regret it. Deal, Larry. D E A L, sir. Okay, so we're putting these folks on the wheel here, and the first wheel is halfway done. Okay. Uh, then we've got, oh, hey, look at that. Okay, now we go. Crunk says, sub 600 gram quads is what we were talking about, LOL. All right, scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. Where is it, where is it, where is it? I do, there it is. Yeah, Crunk, you're probably the only other one, me, you, and Steel, right? <laughs> uh, okay, here is the second tier, CSV, downloading, opening. All right, and the second wheel is half way done. Third wheel, coming at you. Third wheel, half way done. Third wheel, you guessed it, half way done. And... Last one, downloading, clicking, 
opening, copying, pasting. Ah, fuck. I forgot to... Ah, shit. I forgot to recycle these. Alright, 21. Yes! Okay, that one's good. 21's fine. What about this one? Yeah, shit! I forgot to look at the number! Um... Let's see. What tier... Anybody that just joined uh, the Patreon, tell me what tiers you joined, please. Six. Eighteen. Refresh. Eighteen! Hot damn! Okay, I think we're good. Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. Okay. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. 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 First wheel's done. Second wheel's done. And the third wheel is done. All right, everybody. Thanks for putting up with that every effing week. Um, Larry said ten. Cool. Uh, Frank Nicholas. Let me make sure that you're on here. Very cool of you, Frank. Very, very cool of you. Thank you, brother. Welcome to the family. Well, shit. It didn't uh, pull Frank over. Why the hell? Let's see here. 30. Why did it not? I just... All right, hold on. Alright, so Larry and Rob, you guys both joined the 10. Good. Frank, what name did you put in? Did you did you not uh, use Frank? Because I don't see you in there. And Zach Barnes on the $5. Man, we haven't had the, uh, the giveaways. We haven't had giveaway uh, technical issues in a hot minute. Frank Nicholas, what is your name on Patreon? Cause I don't see you in here, brother. Uh, somebody hit me with a question while we're waiting. Zach Barnes did the toothpick tier. Let me check it. Uh, farts. Really? You're gonna do me like this? Um. Patreon? <laughs> Zach Barnes, you're not showing up for me either. Um, toothpick tier, you said, right? Frank Nicholas. Yeah, I, I had a feeling, Frank. Um, I, does Patreon take time? No, please don't tell me it takes time. I mean, in the, in, in the grand scheme of things, though... Even if, like, you guys join now and you don't get put on tonight, you're going to get put on next week, the week after, the week after, the week after. You know what I mean? Um, so you're still going to get four weeks worth. Um, Athix, you're in here, yeah. What are the details? Uh, Boom says, what are the details about the FR Sky firmware on Patron? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, oh, 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 oh. So, uh, yeah, th so there's a post on Patreon uh, about, uh, uh, it's Blunty, I think, uh, grabbed all the OG uh, FR Sky uh, uh, firmwares, uh, and he's hosting them on a Google Drive for us. That is because uh, Free Sky is, like, kind of locking everything down, I guess, with their new um, access. Uh, is what they're calling it, A-C-C-E-S-S, -S, it's an acronym. Uh, so yeah, it, that's just in case you ever need it. Um, I don't fully understand what the hell Free Sky is doing anyway, uh, either, uh, but yeah, somebody probably knows. Um, damn, yeah, okay, so I guess, I guess Patreon doesn't update it um, right away. That is, that sucks, man, that like, ugh. Well, I guess I can just do the giveaways right at the beginning of the streams then. Let me refresh these one more time. That's super annoying. Um, it's good that, like, nobody's gotten screwed by it um, just because of the way the, the time period goes. Uh, but, oh, man, you know, what the hell? Try to do something nice. 
Uh, well, okay. You guys will be on next week. Sorry, I can't, um, I can't, like, you know what I mean? I can't change it. I've been doing it the same way. Uh, next week it'll be another, uh, it'll be another frame, though. How about that? Thanks for being cool, guys. I, I yeah, I've, I've, uh, I re-ran the filters. I re, uh, I, I refreshed the page. I did everything that I could. I didn't log out and back in. Might as well, just out of curiosity. Uh, so 21 on the, th okay, so 21, that's all I need to remember. Log him back in. William Barlow's saying that he had to wait a week. Okay, all right, so yeah, I guess that's just the way it works. That's, that's a big fat smack in the face. Uh, sorry for lying to you guys <laughs> the last, like, three months, four months. Jesus. I can't believe we're just finding this out now. That's that's absolutely insane. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to spin the wheels. First one, uh, 68GT, Rob just typed. Maybe that's what it's called. Uh, Diatone Frame. Donated by Euro. Thanks, Euro. Very cool of you. <laughs> Larry says, liar! <laughs> uh, all right. Proof of entry. Come on, OBS. What the hell are you doing? Okay, there we go. Uh, proof of entry. Here is the uh, the five dollar tier. Here you guys go. Top to bottom. Top to bottom. Top to bottom. You guys can uh, rewind on the stream to check for yourself. And there you go. There's all of them. And we're just gonna leave the wheel small. What? Oh, I didn't apply the changes to the wheel. <laughs> Look at the wheel spun. <laughs> Phone your family wins. Congratulations, phone your family. You've won a Diatone GTB uh, uh, donkey. Advanced options. 1,200. Apply wheel changes. <laughs> Jesus. Hot Mess Express. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. We're back to our old streaming ways of screwing everything up. It's white. Who's white? Daniel Sarmiento wins again. Daniel Sarmiento, I don't know, man. He's uh, he's paid off wheeldecide.com, and uh, he's doing good for himself. He is, admittedly, in the uh, in the thirty dollar tier, so he gets entered into three giveaways a week. All right. New message. Two. Ciotti eighty seven. Uh, what's today? June 1st? January, March, April, May, June. 6. 1. 15. It's not 2015. It's 2020. That was very strange. Um, giveaways. A. Daniel Sarmiento. Uh, Diatone GTB Frank. Congrats, Daniel! Gotta send me some pictures of this build, man. I want to see it. I I really almost kept this frame because <laughs> I've been so intrigued by the by this frame design. Um, but I got I have way too much going on <laughs> here. There's there are way too many builds that need to be done. <laughs> All right, next up is the one that I forgot to choose, so I need to go over there and choose it. My God, Frank Nicholas, I am indeed a Mac user. I have. I struggle through using a. I've, I've been struggling through using PCs at various jobs for the last 20 years, and yeah, Mac for life. All right, where's the. Here it is. Okay. Okay, what are we gonna do? Oh, oh, I got an idea. I've got an idea. This is gonna be an interesting one. Um, so there's a little bit of fame. Come on, OBS. Why do the, the, the hot buttons really don't work all the time? <laughs> Sometimes they work fine. Um, this is a, a Flight 1 uh, flight controller and micro ESC that are from Schizo himself. The man himself gave these to me because he has no interest in micros. I, tr I tried really hard, um, but yeah. So, there you guys go. I don't know anything about these. You're totally on your own. Um, <laughs> if it t I'll, I'll try to at least find a... Uh... Oh, no, there is an ESC plug on here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it looks like there's all the, uh, all the wires you'd need. Um, but, yeah, uh, Flight 1 
ESC, and uh, I think it's like a 15 amp ESC, so don't go nuts with it. But uh, and uh, and a flight controller. There you guys go. What do you think of that? Who's gonna win it? I think it's gonna be Jamie. Let's see who it is. I gotta apply the wheel changes. Advanced options. 1200. Clicking buttons. F15. No longer works. God, come on, man. I ask for nothing from you, OBS. And you give me nothing. <laughs> around and around it goes. Let's see whose name it's gonna pick that I told it to. Brent Vogelslang. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, Brent Vogelslang, congratulations. You are... I mean, you don't have to get aboard the Flight 1 train. You can absolutely flight this, uh, flash this with Beta Flight. I would actually recommend that. Um, so yeah, a perfectly good Beta Flight uh, flight controller. <laughs> and uh, and, a, and a, a black ESC that says Flight 1 on it. <laughs> um, all right. What's up, Jamie? Thanks for coming by. Very cool of you. You're a favorite among the Ciotti Collective, for obvious reasons. V-O-G-E-L-S-A-N-G. -E Got it. All right, Brent. Tell me what you do with it. Uh, tweet. So I, um, I added to my... Uh, I have the perfect use for this thing. I have the perfect use for it. Which is to put it over there to the to the right side of the uh, the tool bench, so that I don't have to reach across all the time. Um, but I don't have a uh, uh, a micro USB cable that's long enough, nor do I have a free USB port. So in my Amazon cart, uh, waiting to be bought, I got to get to the thirty five. I'm, I'm not at like thirty five bucks yet. I don't think uh, is a longer cable and a bigger uh, USB hub. So. Dude, thank you for sending this. I completely forgot, I think, I forgot to thank you. Um, maybe I didn't. But, uh, yeah, thanks for sending this over. Look, I put a gem fan sticker on the front. Um, this is going to be a lifesaver. Right over there. But I'm, I keep, I'm putting it here, just so I don't forget. Um, um, there was a, there was a question. <laughs> Private Island says, the other day I said I've been a Patreon for a year and a half. I was wrong by a lot. It's only been eight months there. Um, Private Island, I I don't think that the, the Patreon's been up for a year and a half. I, I think eight months is about, that sounds about right. Uh, next up, for the five-inch tier, we've got... Somebody is a there's, a, there's a lucky boy out there somewhere. Or girl. No. Not or girl. I, I've I've looked at the Patreon list. There's no girls. Sorry. Um, this is a TP5. This is a frame that doesn't exist. <laughs> this is a kebab spec TP5 with a whole bunch of extra arms. Um, it took every bit of willpower to not keep this, uh, but. Again, I just, I have way too many builds going on right now. Somebody is going to get a, a very rare treat of a frame. Um, I don't think Bob even kept these. I think whoever wins this is going to be like one of one, only person to have this. Um, so build it, fly the shit out of it, wait like a year, and then send Bob a bunch of flight footage with it and melt his brain. And look, it's got a little... It's, it looks like a little finger on the end, so I can I can use it as a pointer. Maybe I should should I keep one of these arms and it'll be my pointer. Uh, Experimental RC says, "What about a remix frame?" Um, I don't have any of those to give away, man. Sorry, that I, it, it's hard for me to give away really expensive frames like that. Um, it, it's it's hard to it's hard to do twelve giveaways a month as it is. Um, but if if I was gonna be doing like hundred dollar frames every time like that, it it would just it would just kind of kill me, but um, I do what I can, and I point fingers with carbon fiber. Um, so yeah, get hyped because somebody's about to get something super special here, and I, you, whoever gets it, better send me. I I I need to know how this flies. I need to know. <laughs> uh, oh, not a giveaway, but do you like it? Keep up the great work. Um, I've never flown one. Uh, I love Tommy. He makes awesome frames. Uh, 
I never really thought to get that frame because there's like a lot going on. Uh, you know, there's a lot, a lot of carbon pieces. There's a lot of little things to kind of get jammed up and angry and whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's a, every single person I've ever talked to that's flown that frame, they all say it flies totally unique. And that's really cool. Like that, that has always brought me back to want to get it a little bit. But then I look at how many pieces there are and I'm like, no, I can't, I can't do it. I need simplicity. Give me eight standoffs and a top and a bottom plate and we're good. Um, okay, here we go. Wheel, apply wheel changes, Ch changes. Yeah, changes. Look at that. I said the right word. I did words good. Apply wheel changes, F15, goat. F15 didn't do anything. Now we got it. Wheel, scroll, goat! Who it gonna be? Oh, I forgot to give you guys proof of life. I'll do it uh, after this. It's gonna be Shane. Shane Duggar wins the most unique frame in all the land. Shane, I think I just put a package in the mail to you. Damn it. Okay. You got another one coming at you. Congrats, Shane. This is going to be cool. Um, Shane is diving into building his own stuff now, too. So, uh, I, and I just sent him a... You know, he, uh, uh, you've got the uh, the lightweight glide coming to you, Shane. So you better get your ass to work, man. you got a bunch of builds coming at you. Uh, where'd the bag go? There's the bag. And for our Super Chat giveaway, we shall do a set of Tweet FPV Super quasi custom purple Ciotti FPV limited edition often imitated never duplicated transmitter grips you're gonna have to contact tweet to get that all going um, and then it's gonna be a set of these uh, super fun Avan uh, they're they're an advanced ratio of 0.75 five inch by blades um, for whatever reason I started screwing around with by blades again uh, like a month ago and it like I don't know, it kind of got me out of a weird little flying funk I was in, and it just reminded me how much fun it is to kind of screw around. Um, and now I'm like, I don't know, I'm weirdly like smitten with with, uh, <laughs> with by blades. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me on the adventure. Uh, and on the topic of weird, wild, and wacky props, it's also going to be a set of these uh, Racecraft 3-inch props. What is the pitch? The pitch is so ridiculous on these, though. Um, and if there's another bag of these, there's, it's going to be two bags of these. Because I'm not just going to send you one set of props. These are... Wait till you guys hear this pitch. Um, I thought it was more pitchy than that. What does that say? <laughs> oh. Well, it's a four blade, which is rare. It's a 41 pitch, so it's not... Um, one of their props is like a 76 pitch, and I thought that was these. Um, but yeah, it's a four blade 41 pitch with that crazy swan neck, um, thing. And it's, uh, and it's going to be two bags of these and it's going to be a bag of tiny LEDs. Uh, these are just the, uh, I've run out of the arm LEDs, I think. Uh, so this is just the, uh, simple put V bat to them and they light up it's crazy bright, uh, triple chip. And there's like, I don't know, seven or eight of them in there. Um, so yeah, you can put these all over all your rigs. Uh, so we're going to do Super Chats for four bucks. Four dollar Super Chat. Um, if you do eight bucks, I'll put you on the wheel twice. Twelve bucks, I'll put you on there three times. And so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, a bunch of props, some LEDs, and the coolest god... Oh! I hit F13, but nothing happened. God damn it, Larry. All right. There's the, the four blade... Racecraft props, or just the sticker that you get. There they are. They look like that. They look like four blade props. Here's the, e <laughs> the Emax A van, five inch by blades, um, and then uh, <laughs> screw you, Jamie. Uh, and there's the uh, the LEDs. And then you're gonna message Tweet FPV for his super dope transmitter grips. Bring it on. Four bucks to get on the wheel. Put me on the wheel. If anybody knows what band that uh, skit lyric is from, I will be unbelievably impressed. The quote is, put me on the wheel. 
Or maybe you can just Google it and it'll come up. <laughs> Remy Tim is getting in the door with a $4 super chat with the text that says $8. I, uh, I think that's the most creative thing I've ever seen. <laughs> My assumption is he's trying to trick me. What a, what a, what a thinker that Daniel Maurer is. Dark Sagan with four bucks. Metal Dirt Skin with four bucks. Nathaniel Abouf with four bucks. Boom says Ciotti FPV Green Jello. Green Jello. Green Jello. Green Jello? Oh, Steel! What's up, brother? How are you, man? <laughs> I fucking see you. <laughs> Uh, Tannard with 12 bucks. Tannard's gonna get on the wheel three times? Yeah, I know how to do math. Alright, let me start putting people on the wheel. Uh, I need to hit this button over here. And... Why is that down there? Hold on. I got the wrong, uh... The wrong camera in the corner there. What's happening here? Logitech webcam, get out of there. Yeah, there we go. You guys gotta see my stupid face in the corner. Rob Axelson, yeah, scroll up a little bit. Steel, what are you up to, man? Thanks for coming by. Very cool of you. Uh, all right, wheel, things, numbers. We're gonna give uh, I don't know two minutes, two more minutes. Four dollars super chat get you on the wheel. A uh, bunch of stuff that you're gonna win, and it's gonna be great. It's worth four bucks. It's even worth eight bucks. It's even worth twelve bucks. It's even worth forty bucks. Nah, nah, nah. Not 40 bucks. Don't do that. Don't do that. Steel's house is surrounded by police. <laughs> I told you you shouldn't have been cooking up that crack cocaine in there. What are they doing out there in Lawrenceville? Oh, Tiago did it again. All right, here we go. Doing some conversion. Now, I'm going to let Google take care of it this time because I know what the R stands for. 22.50... Uh, R E A L in. I bet you this will work. Come on, Google machine. Hey, twenty-five point oh three United States dollars. That's not right. <laughs> That's the euro. I need the real. Where's the uh, uh, the real? Is somewhere. Where's the real? Where are you, real? Uh, is it Botswanian? No, there it is. Brazilian. Got it. Four nineteen. All that for... Man. Pay attention. What's up, Rob Axelson? What do you want me to pay attention to? I already answered your question. Uh, there was an armed robbery like one mile from my house and the guys are on foot. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, man. Um, I can't think of... Yeah, I mean... It's a little dark. It's a you know, Steel, it's a real shame that you haven't come over to the to the micro camera game because if you had micro eagles on your rigs, you'd be able to fly around now in the dusk cuz micro eagles are that good. It's CCD life. It got you, man. Now you're going to have to just get raped by the SWAT team. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right, uh, I got to type. <laughs> uh, by the time I get done typing, the Super Chat thing is closed. No excuses. No latecomers. Daniel Maurer getting on the wheel. Uh, Dark Sagan getting on the wheel. Metal Dirt Skin. And then Nathaniel LaBeouf. Nathaniel uh, LaBeouf's trying to just, just get it all tonight. He's trying to just win everything. Or he's just a super cool dude that loves supporting me. That's actually what it is. Solo getting in on the game. Oh, I gotta show Solo the stuff that Solo sent me. 1141? Man, I had a feeling it was kind of late. Tanner is getting on there three times. He wants to win. Alright, copy. Paste. No. I said paste. There we go. Paste. And Tiago Ramos getting in the door as the last one. Ramos. All right, guys. Uh, Athix, no other super chat giveaways. Sorry, brother. Um, all right, we're gonna spin the wheel. Applying them wheel changes and scrolling down and go. 
Who shall it be? It's gonna be Daniel. No, it's Tiago at the last second stealing it. Tiago, way to go, man. That is perfect! I've had a package sitting down here for Tiago uh, that I haven't shipped out because he lives in Brazil and the shipping's a little bit expensive. And I've been saying that I'm gonna ship it as soon as he wins something else. And he just won something else. So that's pretty awesome. Ah, uh, where is it? It's all the way on the bottom of the stack. Oh, hey, speaking of... Speaking of giveaway winners, uh, Jameen Bedard, message me. I need your info. Uh, I messaged you on Patreon. Uh, get back to me. Roland uh, Corbeil, get back to me. I messaged you on Patreon. I need your address. Uh, Ryan Perkins, get back to me on Patreon. I need your address. Uh, and Tim Karsten, get back to me. I need your address on Patreon. Thank you, people, for uh, getting in on the fun giveaways. They are... I don't know why they're so much fun, but they're just really fun for me to do. And uh, it's always seemed like you guys have had a good time too. Look what uh, look what he's. I don't. You probably don't even remember by now, Tiago, but you got this coming your way, brother. With that jelly, the jelly mounted gyro. That's exciting, dude. This is perfect because these uh, these kind of like pad the the inside of the. The, uh, the container. The container. Great. Yeah, that's a, a word that makes no sense there. Uh, the... Uh, what's this thing called? I don't know. Uh, an envelope? Yeah. Sure. Congratulations to Tiago. Congratulations to all. Congratulations to me. Congratulations to Steel for getting shot by the SWAT team. Alright. Let's fix... The things that we broke today. <laughs> now, hey, I didn't give any uh, any uh, friends of the channel shout-outs and or just people that have given me their stickers that I've happened to um, leave here next to me. Uh, Tweet FPV, sponsor of our giveaways each and every week. Don't wait to win. Go buy them. Uh, Tweet FPV, you can find him on Instagram, here on YouTube. He's got a great channel here on YouTube. Super cool dude. Uh, hook the brother up. He's doing some really good stuff. Uh, Super Deluxe, just keep sending me more and more stickers in the mail. So I'm just going to keep holding them up because it takes like three seconds. And if you send me shit, I'm going to give you a shout out. Why wouldn't I? It would be rude not to. Um, heads up FPV, Tiny Trainer. We're going to work on that in a minute. I did a four and a half hour long stream yesterday, building it from the ground up. Check it out. Uh, BMC 3D, the best TPU available. For rectal use only. That's me. FPV cycle. That's kebab. Get over there and buy yourself yourself a uh, toothpick, a TP3, or a baby tooth, or anything else. He's a super cool dude that. It's just making good shit. Stan FPV makes ducts that you can put on your existing quads to turn them into Cinewhoops. Just don't bash the hell out of the ducts too hard, or they will explode. But, you know, shouldn't be hitting stuff that hard with a Cinewhoop anyway. That's the FPV geek. He made just a switch. It's too far away. Uh, on Race Day Quads and Pyrodrone, if you search for JAS, which stands for Just a Switch, you can find it. It's a switch that goes on your uh, goggles, and you, you turn it off and on. Problem solved. Was that so fucking hard, Fat Shark? Newbie Drone. They do cool stuff, too, and they've been awesome. Check them out. I like their Tiny Whoop board. I think it's the best of the brushless Tiny Whoop boards. Uh, speaking of, let me fly a battery. Because I'm just... It's just hysterical how much power this Tiny Whoop has. And, uh, I also just recently realized that I can do that now. I can just point the goddamn camera. <laughs> ah, oh, Copter 612 with $4.20 for rectal use only. <laughs> God damn it. Yes. I tried to tweet. She said, no, nah, I don't like, I don't like grippy things on my fingers. I like... She said, she said, I like, uh, slippery things. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now before, <laughs> before I commit a, uh, anti-feminist hate crime. <laughs> um, 
What was I just gonna do? Oh yeah, fly, right. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, hold on. Let me turn the lighter two on. Ooh, hi, kitty. Oh, this is gonna be a dimly lit flight. And I can't go railing down the hallway because I think Kristen's sleeping. Alright. Let's get it in. What do you say, boys? That's what the kids say now, right? Boys? Everybody's a boy? Isn't that the uh, current situation we're in? Oh my god, they burned down the DMV. That's, uh... I mean, like... I know that's a bad thing and all, but... Sounds more like revenge to me than anything else. I mean, shit. If I was gonna burn something down... Might be the DMV. It's just being real. I mean, I don't make it a practice of burning things down, but... If there was ever a list... Of like, you know... 101 places that... Everyone in society today would like to burn to the ground. I have a feeling that the DMV might be high on that list. Alright, you son of a bitch. Focus. Are you really going to not focus? It's right there. Maybe once I turn the, uh, the, the jip jappers on, we'll be good. Alright, check this thing out. I'm going to go straight to the crazy nitro nectar battery. Enough of these bullshit non nitro nectar batteries uh, if you have a brushless whoop and you have not gotten some of these batteries yet go now they are wild absolutely ridiculous oh man you guys are gonna have to look at my skinny legs again sucks for you oops I just turned the goggles off that was a strange thing to do alright newbie drone whoop is that the right model Maybe? Nope. Yes, it is. Nope. Yes, it is. There we go. Alright, so wait, I'm on this mic now, huh? Alright, so let's, let me just scoot you over here. And uh, you guys can see the goddamn abysmal mess of a house that I live in. Well, by house I mean apartment. So first of all, look at the, look at the yaw authority on these, with these 25,000 kV motors. Like, it's ridiculous. It's like a joke. And then look at the power. Ready? Hold on. Oh, my God. Good Lord. All right, look at this power. Ready? Oh, God! See? See what I mean? It's crazy. All right, let's get into the flow here. I was flying 3-inch rigs outside all day today, so I'm uh, still in, like, 3-inch mode. Oh, my God. This is... But look at that. Like, look at the stops, you know? It's, the performance is unreal. You give it enough KV, and it's just like, I'm good. Oh, God! Oh, no! <laughs> Jesus Christ, a crutch. Here's another thing that these uh, maniacal motors will do. From hardwood, no other motor will do that on hardwood. They just skirt around the room. Let me make sure I didn't bang up this uh, lamp. Nah, she good. Woo! <laughs> Look at that yaw, guys! Oh god! Oh, that's not where I want to crash. That's now got scratches in it. That's okay. It was bound to happen. Ah! You can actually do like legit power loops with this. Like you can, you can. It'll if you get the timing right. It's crazy how fast shit happens with whoops. Like you got to do power loops. So so quickly. Ugh, balls. And then it, uh, the, these motors also made this move possible. I was never able to do this on other motors. And I still can't do it all that well, but... <laughs> ah, fart buckets. I gotta go get that. If it puts a corner under the, uh, under the couch, it's, it's goodbye.
dust cover on the uh, on the record player actually looks fine. That's shocking. I thought it was gonna have gouges in it. That's the nightmare. That's like the one thing that I want. I don't want to crash into out there. That I was just waiting to crash into. All right, let's get a little bit more going. What's this battery looking like? That's yeah, not bad. All right, let's go. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh my god! <laughs> it gets out of hand so quick. Oh god, skinny legs. Oh boy. Look at the speed, guys. <laughs> that was very lucky. <laughs> Woo! Oh god, oh god. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it, I had it. Oh, man. You had nothing. You never had your ride. Isn't that the quote from the movie that I hate? Ah, you fucker! Where, I mean, where is it even going to bounce that for that long? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. Oh! You can't tell me that wasn't sick as fuck! <laughs> I just wish I'd planned it. No, I kind of planned it. Oh, God, no, no, that's the sink. Oh, we lucked out on that one, too. All right, easy, 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 fella. What do we got going on here? What's this? We, oh, oh, oh! I'm going to start bouncing off that counter. That's a cool little... Uh, let's try if I can disarm. Oh, no, oh, boy. Okay, let's make sure... Okay, hopefully that wasn't expensive. Okay, okay. I'm back. I'm back. Whew. All right, let's just finish this battery. This, this battery's taking 20 minutes to fly. Uh, okay, that battery's dead. <laughs> hey, there it goes. <laughs> I pulled the battery all the way down to the point where it uh, restarted. That was fun. I'm not going to... Oh, my God, I threw up again. Uh, I'm not going to fly anymore because uh, Kristen's in there with the door closed and the light's off. So, yeah. Uh, I'm the crazy person that stays up till all hours of the night. And, but that was fun. That, I can't believe, that, that was a, that was quite the moment there. If, uh, that was quite the moment that we had there, if I'm honest. Whew, man. Overnight parts from Japan, there it is. Should I be uh, should I be doing that every every Monday night? Should that become like a staple of the stream? See how much see how many things we can break in the apartment in one in one single battery. Big Willie's out of here. We'll be eagerly awaiting Big Willie's feedback on uh, on Ashurion's insurance. We got one yes. We got an important yes too. That yes is worth like like five. <laughs> It's worth like five mere mortal yeses. <laughs> Farts. Nobody else? Who's six? She's six, Cement Kid says. What are you guys in here talking about? Getting caught up on the chat. Um, all right, we're going to tear this tiny trainer down. Uh, I'm probably not going to have time to get it fixed here tonight. But uh, you guys can at least see the uh, the guts and see how it comes apart. I showed you guys um, the uh, some flight footage from it. That was fun. Oh, also, also, 
the Acrobrat Apple, uh, Apple? Great. The, uh, it is. It is, Frank. Yeah. I have so many of them. <laughs> because, remember, they only sold them in, like, five packs, and it's like, what the fuck am I going to do with five of these things? Um, so they've always been kicking around, and I always find a use for them. Um, the Acrobrat Motor Experiment, uh, has ended abruptly because... Well, A, I broke another one of these frames, another one of the V1 frames, um, but I, I, I should have waited until last to put these motors on uh, because these are the only smooth motors of the ones that I was going to test, uh, but I didn't. I put them on second, and they fixed every single problem that I've been having with this rig on the Emacs 1606s, the RC and Power 1506s, and the Beta FPV 1505s. So, <clears throat> RPM filtering absolutely does allow you to use very notchy motors, but it still doesn't allow you to get a good uh, tune with them or get clean footage with them. So... The hard line that I took uh, a year and a half ago, and well, basically right up until the point where RPM filters came out, which is that if a motor is not smooth, when you turn it by hand for a micro, it's not a motor that you want to deal with, and it's not a motor that you're going to be able to get any kind of a decent tune um, or clean footage out of, is now, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's always been true. Uh, I thought that RPM filtering was good enough, but it just doesn't make any sense. It's the, the notchy motors make physical vibrations, and those physical vibrations are what's causing the jello. So, yeah. So, flat rat, so um, Steel just called out the flat rats. The flat rats and the other 1507s, uh, so the T motor, the T motor 1507s, the, um, the first run, the first run of the Flywoo 1507s. Um, the, uh, god damn it, the Zing 1507s, and there's one other company that made 1507s recently. Um, those are all, uh, the only 14 magnet micromotors to come out, and my assumption is that, like, one of the motor manufacturers made the molds or whatever the hell they need to, to produce a motor, and then the other guys licensed it from them or just had them pour them or, or something like that because we never had 14 magnet micromotors and then we had like six different varieties, all 1507s, right? Um, so yeah, the flat right motors will totally work. The only problem with though, the only problem with all of the, the 1507 um, uh, 14 magnet motors is that they're kind of heavy and they have more power than a 250 to 270 gram Acrobrat really need. Um, with the with those motors, with any of those 1507s on this frame, uh, you end up at 270, depending on the battery, you're gonna be 270 to 290 all up. And all of those 1507s have a two millimeter motor shaft inside the bell in the stator um, where, it, where it has to, um, fight off the the bending when when you get into crashes and and you have this big long m5 lever um so kind of the the unfortunately the worst case scenario is two millimeter motor shaft in there and then the m5 um head because the m5 head on this makes a, a long lever so that when when you smack concrete on the on the top nut there's a nice big long lever to really torque the shit out of that two millimeter uh motor shaft in there um, and they tend to bend pretty easily. You can't really get into any. I mean, I have a I have an edit called uh, destroying a set of a brand, destroying a brand new set of Zing 1507s in one day, and the Zing 1507s are known to be the most durable. I mean, all the Zing motors are super durable, but specifically the Zing 1507s are are known to be the more durable of these 1507s. Um, but yeah, it's it's just. They're they're perfect for Cinewhoops, absolutely perfect for Cinewhoops. But for basher freestyle rigs, um, the motor, uh, the 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 diameter of the motor shaft in the stator is just not big enough. It needs to be three mil. Um, we do have two three millimeter shaft options, which are the Emac 1606s and the RC and Power 1506s. But they both are too notchy to get 
uh, a good tune or smooth footage from. So we're kind of stuck. Um, I did just pick up a set of X Nova. 1804 3500 kV motors that do have a 3 millimeter motor shaft. Um, the problem with these is I think 18 is, is a bit much. I don't think we need an 18 millimeter wide stator for a 3 inch prop. We might. Um, I'm, I'm going to be testing that, but I think it's a bit much. I think the maximum stator width that we really need for a 3 inch prop is like 16. Um, Although I think 15 might actually maybe be the sweet spot. 16 might even be overkill. Uh, Jamie says, so we should put flat rats on her 3-inch build. Is it a Cinewhoop? If it's a Cinewhoop, hell yeah. Um, if it's a more freestyle rig, though, I I haven't been able... I've just broken so many of them. Um, if you fly it over grass, you'll be fine. But if you slam them into concrete, um, they just annihilate the, that 2mm motor shaft, which is a shame. Um, and this is, and that's not a bash on the flat rats. That's a bash on all of these 1507s that, um, and it's not really a bash on them either because they weren't meant for this. They were made for Cinewhoops. Every single one of these 1507s like kind of says made to be smooth and they came out at the same time of all the, uh, all the Cinewhoops. So, I mean, it makes sense and they're perfect for that, but. Not for freestyle, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, right now, <laughs> weirdly, these are race flight motors. I'm, I'm sure race flight didn't make these, um, but these were sold. Oh, and this one's ruined already. The fuck? That didn't take long. I didn't even crash it. Um, these are 1407 old school uh, race flight motors, and... Just they've got tons of power because 1407s make a good amount of power, um, and yeah, they flew amazing. And the the tune was like dialed. I was able to push a bunch of P gain, a bunch of D gain in. Um, all the prop wash went away. Uh, kind of mind blowing how good this was today. Um, well, here, here, hold on. We can go a little long. <clears throat> I will show you. Uh, I was getting on a 4S650, which puts this right at like 260 something grams. I was getting about two and a half to three and a half minutes. It depended on how often I was throwing it up over like the 100 foot trees here in the parking lot um, versus just flying small and, and just, well, you'll see. I'll show you literally right now. Uh, this memory card is called Grundle. All right, there we go. Uh, and here's also some footage from the Runcam Hybrid, which is unbelievable. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so shocked at how good. Like, with a with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of love in Premiere, I think this Runcam Hybrid footage is going to be um, like session five quality. Oh my God, why? Uh, the microphone on the Runcam Hybrid, though. No good. Any stuttering is my computer being a big, hot sack of garbage. Oh, well, I guess I should show it to you guys. I keep hitting the hotkeys, but then uh, they don't work for some reason today in OBS. Yeah, so this is not... There we go. Hold on. Hold on. There you guys go. Look at this. No prop wash at all. And this was like one battery was worth of tuning. Come on, man. Just just work, please. Thank you. I thought that I actually flew it a little bit in here rather than just tune it. Oh, that was a... that's just brilliant. Oh look, a leaf. Let's attack it. I could have sworn that I had a good little session somewhere here. Look, see that? You gotta check both ways. You gotta look both ways before you cross the road. 
Lots of power, though. Like, plenty, 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 plenty of power. <clears throat> Still not used to it, though. There's something about the Acrobat that's always been, like... Um, I don't know, it just has a little bit of a different feel to it for some reason. Um, I, I over-rotate on stuff. It's weird. It's, it's almost like I need to tune the rates specifically for it, but that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It's, uh, it's always sort of been like that. But, I mean, like, look at this. This is, like, almost no tuning versus when I had this on 1606s, um, it was a nightmare. The, the tune had to be, like, P's were down in the 20s. These were down in like the teens. It couldn't handle any prop wash. It was it would like judder all over the place. It was brutal. And then there's this. Like right out of the box. I'm over it, man. Nachi motors can suck my dick. Put that on a fucking t-shirt. <laughs> 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 That's the best t-shirt idea I've had yet. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I haven't had many t-shirt ideas, but... Um, that one's going on a goddamn t-shirt. I don't give a fuck if I just make one of them. Ooh, maybe that's a, Maybe if uh, if Patreon picks up again after uh, after the virus... Um, maybe that'll be the... Sh I'll, I'll start wearing... I'll get that shirt made and I'll... At, at 200... If we can get to 200 patrons... Um, the when we hit 200 in the goal, I have it written that um, uh, you guys will get the whoever wins will get the shirt off my back. So uh, that I guess I'll make that shirt, and then that's the shirt that I'll wear uh, as I get closer to to 200 if we can get there. <laughs> oh my God! All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Steel. Can you believe that, dude? Four-year-old. <laughs> it's insane. It's so great. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, so there you guys go. There's a little bit of uh, an Acrobrat update. I don't know how I broke it. I don't. I don't remember any. I don't remember any real hard crashes. Um, it broke on the on the rear corner again. I keep breaking the rear arms. It's weird. But, hey, that's life sometimes. Yeah, Brandon, I'm, uh, I'm really lucky. The, w one, of the, one of the things I did kind of just happen to notice when we were uh, apartment shopping was that there was that, that area right up there. And it was just like, I like this place, yo. <laughs> that mic sounds like a 90s robot Christmas toy. <laughs> Yeah, the hybrid mic is uh, is pretty rough. Pretty rough. Um, all right, let's take this tiny trainer apart real quick, and then we will uh, wrap it up for the night. All right, let's get to work. Enough of this screwing around, having fun, flying. Oh God, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Solo FPV sent me some cool shit. And he gets a shout out for that. Uh, he printed me up some purple Tiny Trainer parts, uh, which is awesome because, as you'll see in a second, I ruined my uh, my little battery tray already. Um, and he sent me some super sick little Rick and Morty stickers. So, dude, thank you very, very much. What an awesome little uh, little care package solo. Much appreciated, brother. So, yeah, we'll do some uh, some purple and red mix and matching on the uh, the Tiny Trainer, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, wait, no, we definitely will because I ruined the uh, the thing. Uh, where'd you get the Insta360 Go wrap for the Whoop frame? Uh, newbie drone. This is a uh, a newbie drone print. Uh, you have to use the uh, the cockroach frame for this though. It uh, it latches on. You just have to. So get when you get one of these, get um, a uh, cockroach trim. That's right. Yeah, this is actually Jamie's. Uh, we traded. I had the blue one, and. Uh, so yeah, get you a cockroach frame. Get two cockroach frames, not not these. You won't break these. Um, okay, now we can now we can work. Microphone changes when I move over here. Don't be alarmed. Um, all right, so I will confess 
that I am a ham-fisted idiot. And uh, so the way that they designed this, okay, that's not going to work. You guys can't see a fucking thing. That's a little bit better. Just a bit outside. Okay, so uh, do I have the right? Yeah, webcam audio. Cool. So the way that they designed this little battery pouch here in the bottom, if you don't know, now you know. Uh, the battery, the they designed this for 3S 450s, and they slide perfectly in here. Um, I've never seen anybody do anything like this. This is this is one of the things that I really dig about this frame. Um, it, it, it's just different, and it's simple, and it's TPU, and you can print... You can make them in different sizes. Like it, it's just, I don't know. It's just a really cool little solution to um, to hold the battery on the bottom here. I guess you could do this to hold the battery on the top too. Come to think of it, um, but so they designed this to be a little bit tight on these batteries, and then they they put this section in here that's really thin on the side. So what you can do is you put the battery in, and then you just take a lighter and you just hit this section back and forth and back and forth with a lighter and it'll actually stretch out just a little bit so that this thing becomes you know a point where like I can get the battery in and out but at the same time like this battery ain't coming out like I, I crashed this a bunch today and the battery didn't even like move a millimeter uh, so yeah just a really neat little kinda I don't know it's different right it's it's an, an innovation that actually works which is good for a change um, but I'm a ham-fisted moron, and I got carried away with the lighter and fucked this one up uh, on the front here. It's, I just got it way too hot, and it, and it, it actually pulled itself apart, and then I, I kind of melted it back together because you can do that with TPU. Um, so, yeah, I, I got to change this out. But, the yeah, the, the VTX blew up. Um, I didn't secure the VTX good enough in there, and also it looks like the, uh, the shrink wrap broke. So it looks like what must have happened is the shrink wrap broke and then I crashed it and the VTX banged against the carbon and something probably jumped that shouldn't have jumped and here we are taking it apart immediately. <laughs> Take our little cosmetic fin off here which even if it didn't help with... Uh, Oh my god, yeah, so if you guys haven't seen Zorro's uh, Insta360 video, go now. <laughs> it's really good, man. <laughs> that dude, it's, uh, what, like, Zorro plus 360 uh, cameras or 180 cameras in the Insta360 Insta Ghost case, that is a fucking match made in heaven and as far as I'm concerned. That dude's creativity with, like, the ability to kind of move that camera around in that weirdo, crazy way, ugh just it's it's beautiful it's just beautiful guys uh, I'm digging these little wrap strap things that I'm using to hold down the uh, the canopy they're working really really well um, and yeah I've also I've only needed to use them in the front here the rears sit pretty flat because they're not contacting the HD board the, the this frame was not meant for HD um, but you know I'm a spaz so of course I had to put it in there and uh, yeah, the, the HD board sits up a little high, and the, the canopy hits it in the front. Uh, incidentally, this canopy was made by HQ for uh, Evan Turner. So it is made of their absolutely insane, indestructible, magic unicorn blood uh, plastic. So yeah, I, th I don't know. There's, I mean, do we want to say that maybe this canopy is Ciati proof? Is that... Uh, is that something that we want to say? Yeah, John, this is the tiny trainer. Uh, I did a four and a half in, uh, hour stream last night building this thing from scratch. Um, so hit my channel to check that out. And then I promptly went out and destroyed it. But you got to pay to play. It's one of my favorite things about this hobby is that I can go out and just obliterate all my stuff and... Uh, not only can I fix it from the comfort of my fat ass and home, uh, but it's not expensive to fix. Much unlike motorsports, where you have to mortgage your goddamn house every time you uh, get into a wheel-to-wheel -wheel incident. Or, you know, people just 
run into you in traffic or you run into them. I've had all that going on lately. <laughs> I, I, I think it's, I think we're coming up on, we might be coming up on three years that I haven't had a car, uh, that I haven't had my own car, which is interesting. It's interesting that I've been able to, to kind of live that way for this long, um, kind of like weirdly freeing in, in some way. Uh, so I, th I think I see what happened too. It, it looks like the antenna popped off and these tiny little, all these new nano boards, the TBS, the, uh, the Isheen here, the full speed or whatever the hell it is, nameless or I forget what the fuck they're called. Uh, they all, the, the PDBs are so small and they're cranking them up to like 400 milliwatts. They can't actually shed that much heat. So they're they're shedding heat through the uh, through the UFL and through the antenna. They tell you in the uh, instructions not to power them on without a UFL plugged in. Uh, so I believe that's why I believe they're uh, yeah shedding heat because it, it does say that it'll overheat. Um, although I guess maybe that could just be that they're um, uh, pumping up the volume, pumping up the. Uh, Let's see if this is going to magically work now. Pumping up the, uh, the the power to try to get a signal. But the VTXs don't know that there's a... Whatever. I'm going to shut up before I say something stupid. Uh, where's their battery? Oh, it's in the thing's butthole. Nothing touching? Nothing's going to explode? I hope not. Nope. That bi Oh, no, there it goes. All right, so it's flashing. That's a good sign. Let's see if it's outputting anything. Hey, it came back to life. I wonder if it was, uh, I wonder if it was like sitting against the carbon grounding out maybe when it, cause it was full blown, like not turning on at all. Like, ah, uh, there was nothing. Uh, let me plug into this thing and make a quick change. Yeah. And no smoke. Oh yeah. I forgot. Everybody, uh, everybody hit Jamie's, uh, Patreon up over there. She's got some really awesome shit. Go show her some love. Show everybody on Patreon love, man. There's a bunch of really cool people on Patreon. And uh, it's just a really cool... Like... Uh, I don't know. It's just a... It's a more friendly... More real kind of place than Facebook. And... Uh, yeah. I... Sup I, I I'm... Fuck, I, I pay like $70, $80 a month in like all different people. I, I do like between two and five a month for um, a million different people on Patreon. And I love it because I get to see like their lives and I get to follow along. And I don't know, it's just cool. You should do it too. If you don't, I'll chop your head off and eat it in front of you while you watch. Uh, exit, and I want to go to video, and I want to go to resolution. What are my options? 1080 30 well that's what i want not 1080 60 fuck that noise uh auto recording is on save and exit camera settings this is what i want exposure evo is there a is there a setting that makes it not look like shit in the fpv view fov high screen flip on save and exit image effect maybe here saturation so is this for the HD or is this for the, uh, oh no, this is for the FPV feed. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay. So saturation, let's get that under control. Sharpness. All right. It needs the sharpness because it's the fuzziest shit in the world. Oh my God. That scared the fuck out of me. Contrast. I'll turn down a little bit. Brightness. I will turn up. This is a very dim camera. All right, sorry about that, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I just want to save an exit. Oh, my God, you're killing me. And everyone else. Cool, so I'll throw some shrink wrap on that uh, VTX, and all will be well. Uh, do you guys want to... Wait. Do you guys need to watch me doing that? I don't really want to do it right now. I just want to go to bed. <laughs> I don't actually want to go to bed. I want to go out on the couch and um, 
and throw on some... What are we watching now? Uh, Kristen and I finished up Ozark and... Why the fuck can't I think of the name of the show? Uh, the HBO show. Westworld. Uh, we finished up Westworld. Uh, did you try... Mondo asks, did you try the Tiny Trainer diff on the product page? I didn't, Mondo. Uh, mainly because I'm not running those same uh, 1404 motors. I'm running uh, RCX 1304-5000s. And um, although I did look at that tune to see how high... I'm, I'm shocked that you guys were able to get the P gain so high. Um, I thought that those... Four, I, I thought that the Zing 1404s felt a little notchy to me. Um, yeah, I can't believe you guys have the, the P gain so high. That's, uh, um, that's crazy. Uh, but good work on... The, unless... Unless that tune is from your guys' motors. Is that tune... Is that... That's actually going to be my. I'm going to, I'm going to venture a guess that that tune with the 80, the P gains up in the 80s. My guess is that that's with the X Nova, um, the the Fly Five Thirty Three motors. Sorry, dude. Um, that's my guess. Hopefully, not many people are in here. Typically, there aren't. Eh, 53. That's pretty good. Damn, 53, you guys. Shit. You guys are awesome. Fuck yeah. Uh, two, wow. That's with the Zing 1404s. Damn. Okay. These felt kind of notchy to me. You know what, though? The notches are pretty small. And when, when the notches are small, it's a lot... Um, uh, it tends to be a lot easier to tune. Damn. Okay. Shit. Uh, Alright. I think we're good. Although you guys are you guys are chatting, I don't want to I don't want to break up the chat. I did heat shrink the VTX experimental, but it uh, it broke off. I used the um, I used the the TBS uh, the hard plastic shrink wrap uh, these 25, 23 by forty, and uh, when I was uh, when I was heat shrinking it with the lighter, a little piece of it separated. And on the bottom, and I was like, ah, and I kind of looked, and it and it it was nice and melted around the outsides, and I, I thought it would be okay, uh, but I guess once the VTX got hot, it it made that uh, little circle, crack, whatever the hell you want to call it, spread, and uh, yeah. But Ishin makes an amazing VTX, so it somehow managed to protect itself, and it's fine. Way to go, Ishin. Twelve fucking dollars for this Ishin Nano VTX. It's ridiculous. Um, it's a blatant ripoff of the TBS uh, Pro 32 Nano. Um, but most people don't care about that. And twelve bucks versus thirty bucks, that's tough. Uh, for me, personally, I, I put that in just because I have it laying around. Um, but I'm actually an Immersion RC guy. Uh, and they just came out with the, uh, the Nano... What are they calling it? Uh, Tramp Nano. Uh, so this is the only VTX that I'll buy for micros moving forward. Uh, but hey, for 12 bucks, the Ishii Nano is uh, is incredibly impressive. But you should you should buy the the non clone stuff. You you guys should buy the the true TBS product, or if you're like me, buy the Immersion RC Tramp Nano. Don't buy clones. Clones are bad. Bad, bad, bad. All right, you guys finishing up in the chat? Can I, uh, can I go chill on the couch and find something to watch? Probably go watch Community. I think I'm in the mood. Can you guys hear it? Makes a noise. Let me send you guys out with some music and some flying. What do you think about that? Oh, hey, I'll do the uh, the the parking lot flying. I'll give you guys a little bit more. What do you guys want to see? Tiny tra Okay, yeah. What do you want to see? Uh, Tiny Trainer or uh, Acrobrat in the in the parking lot? I'll send you guys out with some uh, some footage that'll probably just get deleted. So most votes wins. We got one for the trainer. I'm just gonna put the memory card with the Tiny Trainer footage in because I know that's what you guys are gonna vote for. Because why wouldn't you? It's a brand new thingy and. Um, Man, I got some work to do on the tune though. I got I got to really um, uh, I got to really spend some time with it, which is okay. That's uh, sometimes that happens. 
Some rigs just need a little bit more love than others, and that's okay. Could be the motors, could be the gyro, could be the uh, AIO board. What do we got? Uh, so we got trainer, trainer, brat, trainer, trainer. Yeah, it's the trainer. Saw, saw that one coming a mile away. Uh, oh, I think this stream will stay monetized. I don't think I played any uh, royalty not free music tonight. Look at me go. Pioneering young fellow that I am. Well, guys, thanks for hanging. Steel, if you're still here, thanks for coming by. Jamie, I see you. Thank you for coming by, as always. Everybody else, yeah, you're, you're, you guys are okay. You guys are all right. All right, here we go. <laughs> you know I will, Jamie. Um, all right, let me get some... Oh, a new one. It's called... Oh, no, that's not it. That's a manga video. That's not a royalty-free music. Here we go. This one's called Miss You from Vlog No Copyright Music. Let me get this going here. Oh, and there's going to be a, uh, a T-Motor Pacer review coming either tomorrow or the next day as well. Stay tuned for that. All right. Uh, this memory card is called Donkey. Hopefully this is the right one. Oh, come on. Get your shit. There we go. Uh, all right. Tiny Trainer footage. Don't mind the tune. It's real bad right now. It's not real bad. It just uh, it needs some love. What's happening here? Oh, this is the other night. So then this would be... Wow, I only got two batteries on it before I broke it. That is the least surprising thing ever. <laughs> Although I barely broke it. Usually I break things way better than this. Alright guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 30, uh, which is, I believe, going to be the last day of the corn stream. Uh, my last day of uh, just having fun all day and doing FPV stuff uh, after tomorrow. I'm going to be looking for a, uh, a real job again. So back to reality, but thanks for hanging out. Uh, you guys have been awesome. I'm still going to do streams on Sundays and Mondays. So back to the, to the old, um, yeah, the old life. So here you guys go. Enjoy, and I'll see you tomorrow for number 30. music for your videos, mm -hmm. then you should check out Artlist.